Hey, what's up, everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. And then there were two. So right now, it's actually me and Todd going to get everything started here. Joe's uh, cleaning up some blood right now. Then he'll be in in a second. And Eric is actually not here tonight. He is in Chicago and actually out at Lagunitas at this moment. So last we saw, he had a big stout, but... Uh, not remembering that Lagunitas and Chicago have some funny hours on some of their breweries that they are actually shutting down at nine their time, which actually was he saying nine Eastern Todd or was he saying nine central? Cause he has another hour there. If it's central. He said nine, but when he posted it, it was like quarter till our time. So I got to assume that's central time. Yeah. So he's got a little more time to do some damage there, but yeah, unfortunately he couldn't get on the tour and everything that they have out there. Cause I don't think they're running the tours now. And, I tried to go to this other place in Chicago downtown. I don't know if we'll make it there tonight, but Miller's Pub is a, a great place to go to with great beers on tap from around the city and great food, great big portions. It's the only way Chicago can do it. So it like, I've heard some winter. good things about that place too. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Especially in the winter. I mean, for comfort food, it's you know, in Chicago, you gotta like insulate yourself. So they have a lot of big meals. I mean, sometimes you can't finish every well. I can finish everything, but sometimes <laughs> I can't finish everything. I'm talking about one of the guys we were up there before, and uh, he had ordered a rack of ribs, and they were hanging off the plate and stuff. This little old guy, he was just like, what did I order? So I'm like, welcome Damn. to the big league, son. So, <laughs> <laughs> Not for the faint of heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're going to you're gonna have to do some work here. So, But hopefully everybody is feeling good out there, and I know I am because I do not have to work tomorrow. So Makes two of us. Yeah, boy. So that's a good thing. No working tomorrow. And I'll be able to just chill tonight, drink some beer, talk about some beer. Let me get the chat thing pulled up here since Joe's not here yet. Woo, the aromas out of the can is big. Tropic flare? Yeah. That's, Gosh. Smells good. So Todd is actually drinking a Tropic Flare from one of my local places here, Braxton, that your brother brought you, right? You said brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Yeah, I'm not sure where he picked him up at. It was probably local, but I just haven't seen it. Well, Braxton has been expanding like crazy. So is he on the Louisville side? Uh, he lives in Indiana, but he works in Louisville. So he might have cool. actually, I think he... Sometimes goes to a liquor store close to where he works at, so that's probably where he picked them at. That I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, they are they're blowing up all over the state here, and then I forgot where their other parts of distribution are, but they have definitely been doing some pretty good work there. Yeah, so this one is for the, anybody watching. Uh, as Rod said, Tropic Flare from Braxton. It is a New England style IPA with. Uh, Galaxy Citra Mosaic. And it comes in at 6.8% ABV and 35 IBUs. Nice. Let me see here. Bear with me, everybody. Everybody, everybody. Let me get this chat going. You'd think by now I'd be a little bit more prepared and ready to go but no never fully ready so is shannon jumping in tonight or is she relaxing for the drive tomorrow yeah she had to uh she just got home from well she got home from work earlier got her uh pick got her dog and then uh her and our daughter went to uh, her brother's to drop the dog off so she actually just got back from there about a half hour ago so She's going to get her stuff ready for travels tomorrow and probably go to bed early. So she's she said she wouldn't be joining tonight. All right. But she's always welcome, that's for sure. Because you know her, once she starts, she's not stopping. So, <laughs> And that's what we love about her. <laughs> <laughs> she's rolling. It's like Limp Biscuit out there, just rolling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that makes it awesome. So in her eyes, she's better off not starting than to start and try to stop. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with having a good time. No, no, she can do that for sure. All right. So in the chat, actually, Eric Gilbert's in the house. Says, "Cheers, dudes. Welcome, Eric. What's up, Eric? 
So we got Earth in the house. Earth says cheers. Earth got home in time from work tonight, it looks like. What's going on, Earth? Ashley Sexton says cheers panel. And then the Gilbert and Earth as well. What's up, Ashley? <laughs> and then Beer Man, my boy Beer Man out of Washington says, lucky you, LOL. Cheers. I think about for being off tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's good Friday will be good. So I don't have to work. That's for sure. So do you have to take a vacation day or are you guys closed? No, we uh we do split shifts because we work with the markets. So oh, the, market, yeah. the market closed. So half the team took off for uh president's day the other half took off for good friday so my half's tomorrow and then like at the end of the year half will take off for the day before or after christmas whenever it falls and the other half will take the day before or after thanksgiving rather so, oh, okay yeah but when the markets are closed we don't really get to do that much so we can just chill yeah we don't have to be uh dealing with a lot of it oh uh, let me see here and Eric Gilbert says the other half sniper is still sniping. Oh, he's in cleanup mode now. So <laughs> <laughs> at this point, he's just about hiding the body. So we should have him shortly here, actually. And Beer Man says, gotta love those any IPAs. Sounds good. Yeah. So so what's your take on that one thus far? It's pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Um Got a little bit of bite in the back end of the hops. Uh, not like your, you know, kind of your more standard New England IPAs where they're more creamy and, you know, uh, with lactose or whatever the case right. may be. Not not that all of them are, but a lot of them tend to lean towards that way, it seems, these days. So this one, yeah, it's nice. Got some good uh, grapefruit, citrusy, orangish uh, tones to it for sure. Nice. Uh, and... I don't know if you can see that very good through there, but kind of your typical uh, New England style look, cloudy, hazy. And I don't know if it's just because I've been used to drinking some of Joe's other halves and some of the 450 stuff. It it doesn't have the kind of vibe of that New England style. So it's kind of a different style, New New England style, I guess, if that makes sense. (laughs) (laughs) The other side of New England. Almost kind of like old school (laughs) anymore, it seems, yeah. Yeah. But I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's good. That's almost like if we were having like a Midwest like IPA type thing, some of the breweries around up here in Kentucky make kind of their New England IPAs seem like kind of that way. So right. um, they're not as juicy as some of the other stuff. Well, like we got 450 North, which is basically south of me, but right where close to where you're at. They're probably the ones that stand out. But a lot of the other breweries kind of come together like that Tropic Flair does, I think. Yeah, that's that's good. That's easy. Easy drinking for sure. Like I said, it's only what six point eight percent. So, yeah. Speaking of easy drinking, so I'm drinking another one of the Sierra Nevada easy drinking lagers, Sierra Vesa, Sierra Vesa. It hasn't fully won me over though, but like I bought a six pack, so I have to work my way through them. So I'll have a review coming up of them at some point. Although reading a can, it does say additions of flaked oats and lactose, but it doesn't have the creaminess that you would think that yeah. a lot of them do. I mean, it's it's there a little bit, but not overpowering, which is kind of nice and refreshing, you know, from some a lot of the other styles that, you know, they're coming out with those things. Right, right. Well, look who came in the back door. Oh, whoa, 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 back door. Let's just yeah. slow that right now, oh, man. Somebody we haven't seen in a while here. Yeah. Get that, get that blood spill all cleaned up. All right. No, that was, that was a little <laughs> bit longer than I anticipated on that blood spill. Uh, I had to take three showers. wasn't the greatest. wasn't the greatest thing. I feel like you're riding around like Goodfellas. Like, what is that noise in the trunk? <laughs> <laughs> Benny won't die. <laughs> No comment. Absolutely no comment. <laughs> well, welcome. It's good to have you back here. Yeah, it's good to be back. Good stuff. Yeah. What do you, What are you guys drinking? I saw what you were drinking. What were you drinking, Todd? I heard you talking about New England style IPA, baby. Uh, Tropic Flare from Braxton. Oh, nice. It's a triple dry hopped uh, with Galaxy, Citra, and Mosaic. Triple dry hop. They're getting fancy, baby. <laughs> 
Yeah, I didn't want to insult you. So I mean, I didn't send that one to Todd. We have him here, but I didn't want to insult you, Joe, by sending that to you. Like, wait a second, brother. We got other half up here. What is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to insult me? <laughs> There's no insulting average Joe. Respect your authority. I I, I posted the uh today I, I uploaded the um the Listerman uh brew face and I really enjoyed that quite a bit. Oh the brew force. Yeah, the brew force. Like yeah, I said brew face. yeah, it was good. That's all right. Well you like the other one too, the uh don't shit on Norwood as well. Yeah, it was for an American palette. It's it was an like old school. Of, yeah, it was like a it was like Sierra Nevada Palette, but like, you know, from a from a like you know, smaller craft company. That's all it really was. Uh but it was good. I enjoyed it for what it was, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Nice. They're doing some really good things there right now, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Listerman, Listerman, and Four Fifty North are so much of a mirror. I wouldn't say mirror image, but they remind me so much uh, of each other. Just in and just from where they began to where they're at now, because even Listerman, in her own little way, is kind of building a, a nice little following, especially on some of their uh, special releases and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, like street size, they're starting to get more of their stuff in the cans. I'll get you some of those. Those are like really, they're really tight on their stuff. I mean, they're they're one of the breweries that I went there and they kind of knocked me back on everything I tried. So who's that? Uh street side brewery. Oh, they okay. they just they just started getting to a point where they're starting to can stuff more. They were doing crowlers and they're starting to get stuff out in cans now. So nice. what are you, you drinking? It? What are you drinking? Uh Omni Polo. They're uh Plumora, which is a raspberry cream brulee, sour ale brewed with lactose, sugar, raspberries, and vanilla. Oh, you fancy. And, you know, it's all right. <laughs> <You> fancy now. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's pretty well. Put your pinky in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I thought it was going to be a little bit better. Um, it's not bad, but like I've had way yeah. less hours, even from like local places and stuff. It's just... Yeah, what do you, baby? When you bring a lactose to the table, baby, and vanilla and, and raspberries, and talking about cream brulees, baby. Yeah, it better be great. And it's not okay. <laughs> I'm mean, Apollo doesn't usually miss on stuff though, so I wouldn't say it's a miss. It's just underwhelming. So yeah, just it's all it's good, but it's not like I'm not you know fucking. They're building it up on the they always build it up on the label with like 17 different things. It's like. The, the beer I had over here, there um, I forget the name of it, but it was like, this is a chocolate candy caramel chunk peanut butter bar. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> that sounds awesome, and that was awesome. That lived up to the name. This, not so much. I think you might be spoiled, Joe. Oh, no, I am totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. I mean, Earth retracted his second cheers, I think. So, Earth, come on. Buddy. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> cheers, I think you forgot he said cheers earlier. <laughs> I drank. I'll tell you what. Earth sent me a uh, beer, beer mail a couple weeks ago. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was four beers, but he sent me two from this uh, little place in Marietta, California, called Electric Brewing Company. Fucking amazing beers! Like I reviewed both of them. I'll be posting the next couple of weeks, but you know, up there with some of the top tier beers I've ever had, New England style. Amazing. So yeah, you I don't think know if anyone's ever heard of them, but Electric Brewing Company. I was like, I don't even know who these are. I didn't know this place existed until they sent me a couple cans. Electric Brewing Company. Hmm. Uh-huh. You, you would think California is one of the places where if you're going to make something, you better make it good. Otherwise, you'll never hear the end of it. Yeah. Where he's he's in like San Diego area, right? Yeah, he's uh, in Southern California. So yeah, Southern. just outside San yeah. Diego. And one one of the beers he sent me was um, from a brewery called Pacific Drift, and he, he was like, "Oh, this is kind of my like you know fridge IP, my go to IP. You know, I usually pick up a six pack, so it's always in my fridge." I was like, "I've never heard of Pacific Drift Brewing Company." I look them up; it's Walmart's exclusive, uh, basically brewing company. They only sell them in Walmart's in California, and they're brewed by uh, a Mission Brewery out of San Diego. And I had no idea going into it. Really? Yeah, it was. It wasn't bad. It was actually okay. It was a West Coast style, like five point nine percent IPA. I could totally see how, like, you're at Walmart shop and you're just like, I'll throw this in my pack. You know, I'll throw this in my cart. No big deal. But I had no idea that they did stuff like that. Exclusive California only Walmart IPAs. Like, hmm. interesting. Had her in there into their target marketing. You know, yeah. say many things about Walmart, but they know their clientele for areas. They do their yeah. research. Well, they did that tr- the trouble brewing that they started and started getting into places, and then they got sued because people were like, they're, they're deceiving <laughs> us. <laughs> out of Cincinnati. Really that lawsuit out of Cincinnati. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're brewed by Genesee, and like, you know, the trouble brewing is just a front, kind of like the specific drift apparently is, but uh, 
Yeah, the Trader least. Joe's beers too. A lot of their beers. Yeah, Unibrew, Unibrew uh, brewed a lot of their beers. Uh, a lot of their like Belgian and their like anniversary Trader Joe's or whatever that special reserve is every year. Yeah, Unibrew, and I'm they're still pretty good. <laughs> Of course, Dan's favorite brewer, Minhouse, is there oh. too. So, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Booze. <laughs> I've had a couple of their beers, and uh, they're terrible. And Earth says, "Yeah, it's the only six pack I can get for seven ninety nine. Yeah, I, I actually said that in the, the review. I'm like, I don't know how much this costs, but if this is at Walmart, I imagine it's like eight to nine bucks for a six pack. I mean, it wasn't bad at all. Like, I, I mean, I think I gave it like a three five. It was, I could totally drink the shit out of that, but it was like. I called it kind of a beginner IPA, kind of in the vein of like, say, Rebel IPA. That's like a beginner West Coast style IPA. Like, you know, it doesn't have the oomph that so many good West Coast style IPAs have, but it's right. super drinkable and still has the characteristics you expect. So, yeah, for seven ninety nine a six pack, yeah, sure. Yeah, Todd's got a new headset, by the way, since yeah, he's been on last. Like, <laughs> no, it sounds like he just, uh, it sounds like he just turned down the volume a little bit. It seems he's, he's supposed to hit the mute before he takes it off, but That's you know. Todd's still learning how to do the technology, being yeah, a millennial man. that he is. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, well, do you want your old gig back? Are you going to continue on comments? Are you in a, I mean, you in a this is in your here? show, Rod. You've been apparently rolling, rolling quite well over the past month, so I don't need to read comments unless you want me to. We'd like you to read comments. You got oh. you got a good little editorial to the comments. For fuck's sakes. Where did you... Uh, your thing. I, I left off at Earth's message retracted. I don't actually have that because I think I might have pulled it up after. Oh, and the beer man, beer man was saying that looks and sounds good, talking about the beers. Armadillo Junction said, hey, y'all, I may have to save this stream for when I'm off watching y'all drink beer while I'm at work. It's torture. So. <laughs> <laughs> I <can't laughs> it. And Beer Man said, it's so torture when you have to work and see people drink. Oh, well, I know how you feel. <laughs> so Beer Man is actually out in Washington. And it's kind of funny, like, they're watching us at work. We know Paul does it all the time. And, like, Paul's like, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're watching beer too right now. <laughs> like, people aren't working. <laughs> And uh, Armadillo Junction says, guess it would taste sweeter at 4.30 a.m. when I get off LL. So he's on the late shift. Happy hour. His happy hour is at 4.30 in the morning. Jesus. Ooh. And Beer Man says, oh, my goodness gracious, that sounds extremely complex. Sour vanilla and raspberries. Oh, my. Yeah, that's that's what you would think. Like, that's totally, that's where they're getting you. They're like, you're like, yeah, man, raspberries, vanilla, lactose, maybe the creme brulee. Sour. What is this? And then you drink it like it's okay. Like, I'm yeah. not getting everything that I should. And while I'm thinking about it right now, if you guys haven't checked out Beer Max, you want to get him to a, at least to the first his first hundred subs, hit those dots next to his name and check out his channel when you get a chance because he actually has some pretty good reviews. His editing is pretty crazy, pretty funny, pretty entertaining, pretty much on point. So, is that, is that Beer Man? That's Beer Man. Yeah. Um, hit those buttons, check out his channel. Well deserved. He's going to be a, a person doing a lot of good videos here for a good period of time as well. So make sure you show him some love as well. I, I will subscribe to him. And Eric Gilbert said he had a Chexfar and Pilsner Urkel so far. Nice. No whiskey? What is going on? Yo, not yet. <laughs> Baby steps. Rod, Rod, Baby give steps. Him give him about <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> what are you going to work tomorrow? I'm off tomorrow. I'm going get, to get some more. I got my backup beer right now. That's just to start it out. That's the czar from Avery. That's so, yeah. That's, beer. That's my last beer. of the bottles I have there. Uh, 22 ounces? That's a 22 ounce. Right? Yeah, yeah, double deuce, baby. Double deuce, let it loose. You know what I'm saying? You'll be feeling good. Yeah, I'll be feeling good. And I'll probably get something else afterwards because I am off. Oh. And they have. They worked me this week. They worked me. It was. It was. Yeah. I am also off tomorrow. Oh, and Todd's off too. This might. This might be a Joe <laughs> six hour. We don't know. <laughs> we may be still on at four thirty when you get off Armadillo. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, but but the V bar will be going. I'm sure. I'll, we won't be on that late, but V bar will kick off their run here at midnight probably. Um. Beer mess at Walmart. What the fuck? Yeah, different Walmarts have different. Like our Walmart is crap for any type of beer when you do go in there. But I hear people finding good deals in some of the other Walmarts, which I still need to go to Myers because Eric talked about how he gets deals in Myers and he finds good stuff. I never go to ours here. I like how yeah. you're inspired by somebody else's deal. Settle down, Rob. <laughs> right? <Settle down. laughs> I mean, those are just secondary to, every, yeah. to what Rod gets. I'm, I'm all about finding the deals. I can't. I told you my sister got that deal on a computer. 
So that was that was crazy. In Wa- in Walmart, guy asked her in Walmart if she needed a computer. She asked how much. He's like seventy nine dollars. She's like, let me seventy nine. It was like I guess a return or whatever. It's usually like three fifty. She bought it for seventy nine dollars here at Walmart, warranty and all. He didn't have like a big trench coat and just opened it up and it was dangling no. from the inside. Was it <laughs> the, Walmart, the Walmart apron on with behind it? I mean, I mean, he was an employee, so. Sometimes it's being in the right spot at the right time. It seems like it. <laughs> or maybe just being in your family is enough. <laughs> it might be part of it, too. You never yeah. know. But I told you they forgot to bring up my beers last night that I had as we went yeah. to dinner. No, we, had to wait so, we had to wait so long for them to put the beers and got to check. I'm like, this seems low. Oh, they didn't put my beers on here. All right. Well, that works. Do a little extra tip for the guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would have uh, tipped him very, very handsomely at that point. <laughs> Uh, Gilbert says Walmart has beer in Ontario, but very limited stores. Sons, I, I did. I did go into a Walmart when I went over there a couple months ago, and uh, yeah, they, they actually had some craft, and, I, and they were there were individual singles and stuff too. It wasn't just six packs, so uh, it wasn't extensive, but it was better than I anticipated. I didn't anticipate anything. So. Yeah, beer man says I think Costco has their own line of craft beers too. Not sure what they do. That's the Kirkland beers they actually do yeah. there. Mm-hmm. But some people yeah. said they actually aren't bad. I'd imagine they're not. I mean, they also have great deals. Like when I walked in for Lagunitas uh, Imperial Stout and the Cappuccino Stout for three eighty nine dollars for a 22-ounce bottle. And I'm just like, yeah, Rajay deal. Rajay. <laughs> Rajay. I, well, you weren't here last week. We were talking about I might get a rubber stamp and start going around stamping stuff in stores. Just put Rajay beer deals on good deals. Yeah, Jay approved. Yeah. <laughs> Let people know. Spread the love, Rod. <laughs> um... Shannon says, Todd, I'm in the bathtub. I don't know if that's like a hey, I'm in the bathtub, or Todd, I'm in the bathtub. I don't know what's no, going I was, on there. I was hollering <laughs> for a minute ago and I could hear. <laughs> I, also, you know, I also thought that was for something completely different, but yeah, no, yeah, no, I, I, no, I, I go, no, 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 go there. Hey, Todd, come join me. I'm in the bathtub. Yeah, but while you say that, I'll be back in a minute. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give yourself two times. <laughs> well, okay, okay. It'll take a minute to go upstairs. So, <laughs> uh, uh, Beerman said, You the shit, Rod. Thanks. Hey, no problem, man. You're doing some great stuff. Always trying to share love and stuff like that. So, um, Shannon says, I heard you yelling for me. Sorry, boys, for mucking up your feet. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. B.A. <laughs> uh, Brew News says, no, 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 no. Beer man. I see he said it in a different type of melody, but I was just reading through the comment real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit different if you just read it. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 beer man, beer man. Like, it's, <laughs> it's like, doesn't matter. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. <laughs> PA Brew News, I think he's at work as well. So good old Paul. Another another channel you should check out, PA Brew News. And and his painting channel. His and his painting channel. Good painting, good beer, doing the reviews. Okay, I guess Paul, you're doing them pretty much just recording them now because I think you were doing live with the mobile. You can't do the mobile thanks to YouTube there, but Paul's still uploading them. Keep on buying them, Ron. You can't do mobile anymore. Paul, you need to buy them. I can't mobile. do mobile anymore. I well, can't. I mean, not. you're close. You're both actually relatively. The only one in the group that can do them is probably Eric if he's like, because he's over a thousand. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't care to do mobile. Yeah. Well, he's talking about Detroit sports. Who cares about Detroit sports that much? You do. I'm not there because I just. I he's, can't. Not here, he's not here to defend himself either, which oh. reminds me. Somebody's going to do the PSA later. Who's it going to be? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if we all get drunk enough, none of us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Eric Gilbert says off tomorrow, but work Saturday, sons. Sons. So Gilbert yeah. should be getting ripped here at some point. Sorry, any, anybody that posts sons is instinctive at this. Oh, point. Paul's off tomorrow and work Saturday and Sunday, or off tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. I'm not sure where he was oh, going. He there. said he's off tonight as well. He's off every night. Fucking Paul is off all the time at every single. <laughs> <night>. <laughs> He says, yeah, Kirkland line isn't bad. That's what Beer Man said, and that's the uh, Costco brand. And Shannon says, but thanks for checking to make sure I'm not dead. And they gave like a frowny face, though. <laughs> 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 and Paul God, said, I wouldn't be laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> not ideal on your part. Indiana man gets stabbed over craft beer. Yeah. Show. <laughs> 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 the chocolate, you're just digging yourself deeper and deeper into that. 
Uh, Paul says it's too hot in the hot tub. Got to make it cooler out. Burn myself. Ah. Yo, too hot for Paul? What the fuck is he even talking about? <laughs> Don't you drink your beers at boiling temperature? Like, I feel like you could at least get into the water yeah. at some point. At the, you know, too hot. Get out of here. The Gilbert says, I work till 2 o'clock Saturday, so I'm not losing too bad. Paul says he's off tonight. Uh, uh, Chris says, off the 10th. Hi, Jen. So Chris is here. Uh, Paul says, cheers to Chris. And welcome back. Chris had just gotten back from Dominican Republic. And he's already complaining. Oh, I wish I could go back there. Well, that's why it's called a vacation, Chris. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice. I mean, I don't know where he went to. Where we went there. It was pretty sweet for sure. I'm sure it is hard to come back from that. Uh, yeah. At least the weather here isn't terrible now. Like, it's not like you're going from there and then coming back and it's like, you know, five degrees outside and snowing. Like, oh, well, we never know with Chris being in Canada. They may come back and there'll be snow everywhere. You no, know, he's across the river. There's no snow. <laughs> there's no snow. I can see his place. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Chris says, Joe, you weren't a medium yet. No, no schmediums yet. And Eric Gilbert said, "Cheers, physics to Chris, because we know all Chris loves his physics." Yo, know, I, I watched the uh, they did the <laughs> they did Michelob Ultra last night. He's like, "I'm gonna physics my second can." I'm like, "Why would you waste time physicsing that beer at any point? In time? It probably will improve it." Well, but, technically, it's, technically, it's kind of like water, so he's cleaning it really. Yeah, I guess that's all. He's, <laughs> he's basically making a nitro version of water. I don't know. I mean, that that's already water, so I don't understand what's happening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I saw Nick was doing Mick Ultra, and I was like, Mick Ultra, really? Mick he's like, can you get it? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, you're gonna show up? I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why on purpose? What? No. Just because I can doesn't mean I should. <laughs> yeah, we all know what that beer is, and it's questionable whether it's not. And it, it's questionable whether or not it's beer, but not like a 450 North slushy, like it's Mick Ultra. It's, it's, it's yeah. water. It's like barely flavored water. <laughs> Paul says, hopefully someone remembers Eddie Murphy doing James Brown's mm-hmm. Hannah Live. Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. It's a classic skit. Yeah. And uh, Chris says, finally, the weather is good here. And then he says, yo, Eric, back to Gilbert, nitro water, get in a lightning, lightning storm my way, says Gilbert. So watch out. So, watch it out. might just it might just be Gilbert on fire. He's on fire. <laughs> not, that would be terrible if that happened. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're caught up on comments. So your next reader will be Joe. <laughs> well, I, I enjoyed every second of not reading the comments because you did such a good job. Yeah, yeah, I've done the last couple of weeks and stuff. So I mean, it's gonna feel for it. I kind of, I kind of like having you there. You know, you got your role. It's know like your the role. rock. No, your role, Jabroni. What's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happening? No, I didn't sign up for this. Oh man. So what do you think? It doesn't matter what you think about it. Read the lines. No. <laughs> oh yeah, this baby's getting ready. Not ready yet, but almost ready. Imperial Stout, one pint, six ounces. What did you pay for that? Ninety nine cents. Ten point one ABV. <laughs> Make me laugh there. Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't remember what I paid for that. Ninety nine cents confirmed. No, no, I think it. <laughs> I think it wasn't no damn ninety nine cents. That would have been the ultimate rod, Jake. Well, actually, I don't know if I ever get a deal as good as the Malavita deal. That may have been the ultimate. That's Eric, the Spanish beers I got for dollar ninety nine. We'll have to drink. Yeah. But I think I got this one for four ninety nine, I believe. That's a good. I mean, that's a great. That's a good deal. Yeah, I got. I could. I bought like three of them at the time. I was like, what? So I grabbed the last three they had at the time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's. that's uh, I haven't had that in a couple of years, but man, that's like one of the better just Russian imperial styles. Just plain old, just kick your ass with fucking tons of flavors and just super smooth. So good. Well, it's yeah. It's got a Russian on there. Russian, you can't be soft with a Russian on the beer. They <laughs> should have a strong Russian. I know I sent it to Eric. Eric loved this beer when I sent it to him. So, which is crazy. I feel like Eric can get that beer, but because uh, he has, you know, all the special small Avery bottles, like they're just hanging out on the shelves everywhere. And then Earth is like, <laughs> one, and I'm like, I like the coconut one too. And he's like, there's like 400 of them right here, <laughs> yeah, all on our shelves. But Eric's just like, yeah, they're everywhere here in Michigan. Yeah. Well, who was I did? Let me grab my phone here. A couple weekends ago with Joe. I gotta tell you, I don't know if, if it shows up. I, I don't know if they're gonna make it again or if there's any left out there. That do, dra- do, not, do not tease me. <laughs> the dragon milk. 
banana coconut. I'm doing it on. I'm doing it live on Monday. So you got one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So now you got me all pumped up. Now, like I'm oh, yeah. live. Now, if it's underwhelming, it's on you, Rod. No, but, you're, uh, gonna, you're gonna like it. I, I as like men's warehouse, I guarantee it. I'll just say, <laughs> like, what, what the hell? Rod J deals at men's warehouse. <laughs> so, like last weekend, I think it was last weekend, I did the Dragon's Milk, and then I did the Electron Brown from Old Nation, and mm-hmm. then I had the Rumpkin from Avery. And by the time I had the Rumpkin, it was like party's on you're not going to sleep yet we're gonna start kicking your ass so i think that was like 17.9 or something abv and it was like i just want to go to sleep now and they're like no no you can't go to sleep yet yeah avery doesn't mess around too much no they, they don't they're they're i will say a lot of their uh base stuff is just okay in my opinion like they're you know just like they're whatever i, I do like their little koi capolo the the, the passion fruit with oh beer. yeah yeah There's a that i enjoy but like when it comes to their imperial beers and their big beers with the foil on them and stuff they're all fucking killer for the most part they're just amazing beers they're not they're not cheap unless you're rod for the rest of us they're pricey <laughs> well, I, I still gotta pay like if i want a tweak or something i mean you know yeah those are like 12 ounce bottles that are anywhere from like 12 to 15 dollars so you're, you're you know you're, yeah. you're really paying a premium but it's it's almost worth it every single time so uh, yeah no complaints for sure nope um i want to uh, cry while uh, chris is in the comments uh, i will say chris next time you hop the border uh southern tier just released a beer that has your name written all over it. It's a nitro beer from Southern Tier. It's a nitro s'mores beer. So keep an eye out on that, Chris. Uh, Brood and Bottle just got it, I think, today. But uh, yeah, you, you should you should be all over that. Oh, I got some smoke out of here. Joe D would have liked that. Not liked. He would have flipped out. Joe D loves to smoke. Yeah, I don't think there's a more pure enjoyment in the world than Joe D and enjoying his smoke. Oh, out of smoke the smoking Oreos. And no, people come no, in like, no. it's not smoke, it's not smoke, it's vapors or whatever. It's smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people in the beer world, they just look at it as smoke. So yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Not a have some fun with it. Any more yeah. comments there? Huh. Oh, now it's time for me to read comments. What is <laughs> I clarified that now. Okay. So uh <laughs> Chris says, finally, the weather is good here. He says hi to uh, Eric Gilbert. And then he says, mm, nitro water, as I mentioned, yeah, the, the Michelob Ultra. Uh, Beer Man says, uh, well, he laughed at when I said you paid 99 cents for the Avery. Then Earth guessed three ninety nine, And then Chris guessed $1.99. Uh, <laughs> I think you said four ninety nine. So Earth I think is it was like four ninety nine. yeah. If this was the price is right, Earth wins because he was the closest without going over. Uh, then Chris says he subbed to Beer Man. So also, awesome. yeah, and then and then he said he also subbed to Earth. He's waiting on a vid, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and then Earth said, you never know, might end up being five years later, like Joe. Well, fuck you, Earth, but also correct. <laughs> him and Todd. <laughs> him and Todd. Yeah, him and, Todd. Uh, and then Beer Man, thanks, Chris, for uh, subbing. And Beer Man says Nitro S'mores. Oh snap! Yeah, I mean our buddy off the tent there, Chris Beer Man. He's a uh, he is the biggest lover of nitro beers that I have ever come across in my entire life. And everything, everything nitro would be his preference when it comes to all beers. He bought a physics machine, which basically almost nitro is any beer you want. Not quite to that level, but it does. Yeah. And uh, that's all we have. Oh, wait, wait. Beer Man says Avery produced his delicious beer. And they do. Yeah. Worry. Yeah, this is actually the 2015 edition. Oh, shit. Age 22? Yeah, well, I've had this one for a while, actually. But oh, this is the last one I had seller. Sorry, sons! All right, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you don't even have to type it. I just say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my last of the Zars. Still has a nice aroma, nice taste to it. Dark fruits, right? Oh, I don't know. You tell us you're the one drinking it. <laughs> right, drinking at ninety nine cents. Dark fruits is smooth as can be for now. It's such a fucking that's a fucking yeah. I need to pick that up and grab one at some point if I can get a deal on it. If you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I, 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 probably like yeah. seven ninety nine, maybe six ninety nine. Can't for that. Crazy. Yeah, it can't be crazy expensive. Well, for the I mean, if you got it now, I would think you're probably around what 
nine 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 or something, maybe depending. Then I, I, I never really buy every box. I saw that one because it was on deal. So yeah, I'm thinking that one is usually nine 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 or eleven nine nine, something like that. Yeah, I think the only two twenty two ounce Avery beers I have bought in my life. The Tsar and the Maharaja when it used to come in 22 ounce bottles. They're double IPA. Oh, I didn't know they did that. Yeah. yeah that was that was years ago, like five plus years ago. And uh, that's a great double what well, was a great double IPA. I, I'm sure I'd still like it, but I haven't seen it in years. Yeah, some people try to rag on Avery now, of course, since they've taken some dollars, but oh, don't want to drink it, don't drink it. I will. Yeah. <laughs> I think they still do some pretty good. Nothing's like- changed yet. That's how you gotta live, man. Uh, don't don't worry about what other people are drinking. Worry about what you're drinking. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. You know? I mean, I, you know, they, they did the Michelob Ultra on the beer analysis 101. I'm sure there's people that buy that and enjoy it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on the market still. So, you know, I mean, there's there's a market out there for for so many products, and you drink what you like. Yeah. So, you know, oh, it's like I was on Joe D's show Saturday. We were talking about and then. He had went out and did a beer run, and one of the beers he had got, he was looking through stuff on Untapped, and I guess we would give like a three six, but he really enjoyed it. So that's why you can't follow ratings like that. I mean, it's, some of you may not like it, but it may be something that appeals to you. You know, I never yeah. look at Untapped. I never look at the ratings when I go out to get the beer. Only time I look at it is if I've done a review on it or not before. So is Todd DJing? What the hell is he doing? I don't know what the fuck he's doing? <laughs> Todd- <laughs> <laughs> Being distracted. I think just know he's struggling with having a headset on his head. I don't know. I think I don't know Shad, how he's Shad doing it. Shad is doing no, a or something. No, she was down here talking, so I was trying to mute it and also hearing what she was trying to say. She was asking why you didn't join her in the bathtub, I'm sure. No, that wasn't it at all. <laughs> <laughs> if that was an invite, I wouldn't have been sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like an invite. Oh, mixed signals, perhaps. I'm not sure, but based on what she typed into the comments, yeah. I don't know. It was, I mean, it was almost like, "Where's my rubber ducky?" It's what I saw. Yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> that, that as anything else. I don't like. By the way, Todd, I'm over here, and then Todd's like, "Well, great, have fun." Like, I don't understand. Like, it's, uh, so what's the weather like in Buffalo, Joe? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not raining, uh, so that's positive. Um, there's no one in my bathtub, if that makes sense. Uh, uh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what happened to Eric? Eric's going to breweries that close at 8 p.m.? What the hell is he doing? Yeah, I told Todd I forgot Chicago is kind of weird on some of their stuff. I think like Revolution and them are open to like twelve or something. Yeah, go somewhere where they're open past like you know <laughs> yeah. that time. Like I don't understand. We close at eight. No more beer at eight. What do you mean? What? <laughs> well, they're like in a warehouse district too, so they're like right in the business area. So it's kind yeah. of weird. So but your wagon eaters, you fucking stay open at least. Well, it might, it might be something with their zoning oh, yeah. or something where they're at yeah. and other businesses don't want people out there drunk and stuff you know property <laughs> i mean whoops <laughs> whoops eric <laughs> get out there, buddy. tell eric you can take them you're big enough you can take them <laughs> yeah do it but, but uh that's why i said if i knew he was he could have went over to miller's pub they got like a great run of taps and great food over there he would have liked it over there they yeah. stay open to like three in the morning or whatever so who knows it's a nice story young for eric out there in chicago I was gonna say, yeah, nice not over yet. Yeah, it's like a ten minute Uber ride from where he's at. So, yeah. Any more comments? Uh, no. Even though there is, totally not. No. Uh, let me. Let me uh, <laughs> Chris says nitro for the win. Uh, Earth says I only care for Avery's barrel series, but then follows it up with Eli uh, or Ellie's brown ale is uh, good though, which. It's a brown ale. It's it's yeah. It's solid for brown. A rump, uh, pump, pumpkin, pumpkin. Yeah, those are and all the rump yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> whatever. He's all the berries. <laughs> He's all about those out of magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you got anything stronger than this? <laughs> like eighteen percent? Yeah, I need something a little stronger. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Beer man says definitely. Chris, love the nitros, rich, smooth, and creamy. Yum on the mouthfeel. And then uh, Chris and I, 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 I mean, that's the thing. Like, I know people absolutely hate nitros because of that exact reason. There's no carbonation, yeah. basically, and everything. But it all depends on the beer for me. 
I've not been, I, I don't know what, how it is for you guys, but like IPAs, I've never been a real big fan of like nitro to IPAs. It really just works for me and like stouts and porters because it makes the most sense. That's kind of what you're looking for. At least I think so. Stouts, porters, yeah. I mean, maybe I like mean, a hot type beer, sure. It's not nitro, but it seems damn pretty close with the 450 North slushies. I mean, they're using like flaked oat or whatever to cream yeah, it out. But yeah, I mean, beer. let's be honest. Come on. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's just, that's just <laughs> color. That's color crack or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, delicious non beer. <laughs> yeah. So, so speaking of them, so they just had a seven can release last Friday. They're doing six more tomorrow for 420. So all their stuff is like weed related uh, uh, cans or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the, wor the worst part is you didn't go to either release, so I mean. Well, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be home tomorrow, so I can't yeah. go tomorrow. But <laughs> where you at on that one, Todd? Yeah, what, what, what happened, Todd? What, I don't understand. Yeah. So, um, like, take like a two hour road trip. Yeah, that's crazy. Back to back. Uh, well, other half does the same thing. So I actually went this past weekend to other half and picked up some stuff. And uh, every week they're doing like eight to ten beers. That's just crazy to think. Yeah, you, you got to pick and choose. You can't, you know, like obviously you can't go. I mean, although I, I would love to go tomorrow because they're doing a just a pure pineapple slushy. <laughs> and then they're also doing a brownie. What was it called? Something brownie. It was like a. Oh, I saw brownie that. Brownie yeah. batter, vanilla, yeah. and something else. It sounded Jesus phenomenal. Christ. Yeah. yeah. You linked us, and I wanted to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> you just torture us. You're like, hey, look at all these releases, guys. You go into the release? No. What the no. fuck? <laughs> 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 just well, if I can't go, I got to, you know, at least have to torture That's somebody good. else along with me. So, good, good. Yeah, bring us down with you. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs> I could just imagine how good they are. Yeah, but no, I mean that's the thing. Like so many of these places are just doing, you know, releases basically weekly or every other week, and it's hard. It's like you'd be broke number one if you want to go and pick up all these beers. But it's also too, I mean, too much beer to drink. I know that sounds dumb, but when all these places are doing releases and stuff, and you know, you're trading with friends or you're just hooking friends up or you're getting beer mails or whatever, it's like there's so much. Like I have so much beer in my fridge. Like even if yeah. you said I was going to the 450 North release, I would be like. I'll take one or two of those beers and that's it. Like I don't, I can't, I wouldn't want all six or seven. There's just too much stuff to drink right now. Way too much stuff constantly. I'm not all complaining because it's amazing, but it's just, it's tough to keep up. Yeah. But speaking of misery, I lost my worldwide stout. So I'm not happy about this. Too. Oh, let's get into that. After I read these comments, I want to hear all about this I want to hear the pain and suffering that you've been going through over the last couple of days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Chris says uh, that beer would physics great, Rod, in, in regards to your Avery, and I'd imagine it probably would. Yeah, 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 you could do that. And then Paul says going to crack a dead man's game from Lost Abbey when he gets home. Nice. And then Chris says, I would sonicate the shit out of that, son. I think he's talking about your Avery. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Gilbert says, I've been getting Wells Bombardier for uh, $2.20 Canadian, so that's like 14 cents American, a pint. And totally crushing those lately. Yeah, for two twenty. I mean, that's seriously under a dollar a pint, uh, American. Or sorry, really? under two, sorry, under two dollars, under two dollars a pint, American. Which <laughs> almost any beer under two dollars a pint is worth it when you're out and drinking somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, we got one of our local bars. They do two hour Tuesdays. Yeah, that's so all. Their beer is on tap. All craft beer, mostly two dollars any pint. Nice. Can't, can't For any of them, it's not just like a specialty. You're trying to blow one and get it out of the way. Deal? No, they do two of them all. They don't put anything like too crazy out there where they do it. I don't think you got to get those like in bottles or cans. But top yeah. tier is like Lagunitas IPA, which is fine. For nice. $2, yeah, $2, yeah, oh yeah. no, I mean they'll have like Braxton shit on there and all. Oh that. really? Was, yeah, oh, yeah, two dollars. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> you try to go there at nighttime after work. Forget about it. There's no spot in the parking. Like forget like, about the it. Place yeah. is like a smaller yeah. bar across from a Dairy Queen. And next to like a mellow mushroom, and then there's a movie theater. People are parking away over in the movie theater to walk over because they can't get in there. Yeah, they damn. This. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, what else do we have here? We have uh, uh, beer man says that's too early to close. Come on, three a.m. Talking about uh, <laughs> Eric, <laughs> yeah. Totally agree. Yeah, he follows that up with, "I'm just kidding." Hey, you guys have a good night. I got to get going. Been real good listening to y'all. Cheers. Take it easy, beer man. Take it easy, beer man. Have Take a good one. I will say it is a bit awkward calling him beer man. And what is his real name? Does he, does he ever? I haven't got it. I just got to call him beer man. Okay. Well, I guess beer man it is for now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ash, Ashley from Saxon Brew shows up and he says, I'm back. 
Cheers, fools. Why did he I didn't know we that? left. He was here earlier. Yeah. Yeah, no, he did. Yeah, he says Shears panel Gilbert uh, Gilbert Earth early. Yeah, that was one of, the, one of the first things he left. He yeah. probably wanted to go shoot a video for his channel because he has a channel now. So make sure you yeah. guys check out Ashley's channel too, who also does some home brewing stuff and some other beer stuff. Yep. So, very educational on this stuff too. He's pretty deep on some of his things. He like does. A professor. Should be he the does. beer professor. That's what Ashley Sexton should be. He does know what he's talking about to a degree. Yeah, yeah, to his tank. Yeah, to a great degree. No, I, actually don't think I'm not. I like, I like, I, I, I always see the thing is, is I don't homebrew, but I always like watching homebrewers because I feel like I learn stuff and I get technical aspects from videos that I wouldn't normally watch. And it's yeah. fun. Like he did a, um, you know, he did a uh, Idaho 7 IPA that was really fun to, to hear the characteristics through his palate. And, but just like what he, you know, how he brewed it, what, you know, how it came out and everything. And uh, it turns out that he thought it was a really tasty beer. And and then Earth posted a comment. It was like, you know, I, Idaho 7 is a weird hop. All depends on how, you know, Brewer uses it. And I, I pretty much agree with him. Like, I same thing here. I have like Idaho 7 as part of like, you know, multiple, uh, you know, basically a, a, an IPA that has multiple hops in it. So like three or four. I, I The most of the single hop IP, uh, Idaho 7 beers I haven't really cared for. So it was cool yeah. to see him talk about his experience through a single hop Idaho 7. Just stuff like that's fun. You don't get that like just through someone reviewing beer, commercial yeah. beers. Yeah. And even if you like go to like some of the stores where you buy beers and they got home brewing stuff, mm -hmm. and you get out there and smell some of the hops or anything like that, you pick up just stuff being able to go out there and just pick up that and the malts and be able to sit there, sniff the malts and kind of get a feel for it too. So. Yeah. And, I, and then I mentioned to him, like, I, I really, that's why I really wish more commercial breweries did smash beers, you know, single hop, single yeah. uh, malt, because you really do get an idea of the characteristics of the malt and the hop in that situation. Yeah. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, Saxon uh, Brewing then says nitro sours are amaze balls. <laughs> I'm not sure if he exactly said it like that. I'm just picturing him saying it exactly like that. Little, little excited there, huh? Yeah, that's why. I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to be true to Ashley. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like if you went to his his channel, he said uh, nitro sours are amaze balls. He would have said it exactly like that. Or maybe not. Uh, Paul says, what are these stouts you speak of? Because <laughs> Paul doesn't know anything about a stout. <laughs> trying, to, trying to be a wise guy? <laughs> oh, and, that, and then Beer Man comes back and says, I think a nitro on a stout porter would be better, or let's just say a darker, more robust beer would be better than a nitro or an IPA or lighter. Totally true. Okay, now I'm out. Have a good night, guys. Yeah. <laughs> just want to get that last thing. <laughs> I love when we have people hanging in there to the last possible second, so. Yeah, and then uh, and then Lee Russell shows up, and says hello, sons. Welcome, Lee. Yeah, what's up, Lee? How's it going? What's up? Ewart, aka Takumuri, shows up and says, "Yo, sons, <laughs> welcome, sons." <laughs> and then uh, Ashley says, "I did actually. I don't. He did actually. He just said anyway. Nitro to nitro to sour, maybe." Maybe I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Ashley, <laughs> confirmation here. What you're talking about? And this is when we say Ashley sometimes falls off. Now, <laughs> yeah, this is this is where he has uh, went through his six pack quite quickly. Uh, Eric Gilbert says Bombardier is a very solid Cascal too. Can't that price? I think he might can't beat that price, but he's probably into the whiskey, so he's right there with Ashley. Those Southern Canadians have to, you know, yeah. they stick together. And then uh, Ashley says, "Oh fuck, Taku Murray." And then he says, "Do a very, uh, do a very small degree." LOL. Ashley, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, little kid. You're special. <laughs> I'm, I'm these all over the place. I, I I feel like we're behind on the comments just because they just keep on typing stuff. I think it's just Ashley. <laughs> yeah, Ashley's just he might be hammered. I don't know what's happening. I'm enjoying every second of it. And then Ewart says, "Ashley is a piece of shit." Huh. I mean, they're they're friends, so. I mean, apparently, <laughs> yeah. Friendly piece of shit. And then, then he follows that up with that being said, knows his shit. So he's a piece mm -hmm. of shit, but he also knows his shit. So he knows himself. Is that what that's what he's <laughs> Um Eric Gilbert then to to confirm because his uh you know his English, the way he was writing the grammar wasn't the greatest. He says he's having a uh, Fuller's London Pride and a Hazelburn ten year. So there, there he goes. Now. He's into he's into the spirits, and uh, it was only a matter of time. 
Lee Russell says, might as well be the beer professor, not like the name is taken by Dr. Kramer anymore. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, yeah, I'll just say you didn't go to the same school as Dr. Dave. That is true. <laughs> Ashley, with 100% confirmation, he says 100% 100% accurate representation of me saying amazeballs. <laughs> I know Ashley. I know exactly how you would say that. Uh, um, Ewart says he doesn't care for nitro beers, but he got cut off because I'm pretty sure Chris strangled him to death mid-sentence. <laughs> uh, Ashley says, oh, snap, did a beer review. Sorry, I did actually do a beer review. So uh, Rob was correct. There we go. Rob was spot on. He knows you too well, Ashley. Him and, him and like Craig disappear to go do a review and come back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ewart says he had a Peche Mortel from Du De Ciel and a bottle, and it was awesome. Later on draft, he had it on Nitro, and he said, nah, give me that crispy carb. <laughs> so he prefers it with actual carbonation. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. There are a lot of beers when I've had them on Nitro where I prefer them with regular carbonation. I'll tell you one beer I don't is Left Hand Milk Stout. That beer regular compared to the Nitro, Nitro is better every single time. And I've had them side by side multiple times. And But there, I feel like there's beers that were made to be a Nitro beer and beers that weren't. You know, there's beers just like, oh, we're going to have a tap. We're going to have it on Nitro on tap. And it's like a beer that you're like, really? Is that, I don't, I don't know. Does that need to be on Nitro? I don't think so. Um, Ashley then says, he's laughing his ass off. I'm typing as you're talking. So, yeah, you're way behind. I'm sorry, Ashley. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to do best I can. There's other people that are talking as well. You're not the only guy talking. <laughs> Eric Gilbert says, Ashley Sexton, you smashed. But I, that would have been better if he had the sun after it. You smashed sons. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Uh, Rainier Parade says he just got home with a six pack of Lagunitas Waldos, Waldo Special Ale, and says he will be cracking one in minutes. Nice. nice. Are, you, are you guys picking up Waldos this year? I'm probably going to look for it tomorrow. I don't know if it <laughs> showed up yet, actually, here. I'm hoping that they get it here before 420 for everybody that cares about that. But, you know. <laughs> I got. I got to. Well, I can't. I, I. I can't drink the beer I got for four twenty. Technically, so. Oh yeah, the Kush orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do like Bumpy did. I'm gonna have some other people test it and then tell you what they thought about it. Yeah, that was <laughs> great with him eating like the ribs. Yeah. <laughs> did you see? You saw the video he did today. Then. Have you seen him do yeah. the Kush? You saw the yeah. Kush one. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was munching down on everything in front of him. <laughs> The funny thing is, Eclipse sent chips with the beer. So he no, sent like four bags of Doritos and Cheetos yeah. with them. <laughs> That's like one of the best things you ever could think of. Right? I'm going to send out my fucking weed uh, beer and here's some snacks in case you sna Yeah, just go hand in hand. But Bumpy, Jesse told me he gave the snack stuff to the kids and stuff. So that's why he was like going through wings and everything else he had in front of him today when he did it. So makes sense. Cheers, Eric. Welcome, brother. Back from What's Lagunitas. Up, yeah, back from Lagunitas Brewery in Chicago. An early night with Lagunitas. They said bar closes at nine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say exactly like that, though? No, I didn't, yeah. I didn't say it like that. <laughs> Did you Did you drop my name? Did you I tell did not like... drop your name. I did not drop your name there. <laughs> <laughs> If you would have, they would have stayed open in another two hours. Yeah, Gu sure guaranteed. Because you know they're hanging out drinking after work, and they would have said, oh, you're a friend of Rod? Come on, you can hang out with us and drink. Yeah, come on. Yeah, here. yeah. I'm yeah, sure going you... back to the VIP room. We'll, yeah. we'll give you the you Rod J home, tour. You would have went home with three cases of, I don't know, everything. That's what we would have. <laughs> then you would have had to find a way to get them back. Well, fun. I am driving the company oh. car, so I probably could have done that. There you go. Ooh, driving there you go. The <laughs> on cases of Lagunitas. <laughs> So here's the thing. Well, are you can you bring some back if you're driving a company car? Like <laughs> I've already I've already been to Benny's, so I've got quite a bit of drunk already. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you end up picking up at Benny's? Anything crazy that you saw? Or no, nah, it was pretty much all that I can get here. I picked up a case of Mickey's. <laughs> oh, Mott Liquor Monday, Paul. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, that's what I, I, I did remember. get. I did get. Uh, a 40 of Old English, so I can do that bra proper brass monkey. Oh, you're going to get respect there from the malt liquor crew. I got one oh. of your favorites tonight, Eric. Oh, yeah. I did <laughs> I did grab an Avery beer. It was, what was it called? 
It was something I couldn't get here. It was, it, it was, I'll have to look. It's, and then I, and then my, one of my friends who was from Poland, or friend, one of my coworkers that's from Poland brought me some Polish beer in. Oh, that's sweet. Went. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Look at Eric going international. He yeah. is internationally known. We can show up on Simon's goes, channel in a video. I brought you beer. I brought you beer. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'll take that, thank you, and kind of marched out the door with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you, Eric, because it's funny because you have people from where you work. Like, at my job, like, everybody else, I do the beer stuff now. It's funny because, like, other people in the company are like, yeah, they're watching the videos. They're doing, I was like, how many people in the company know I'm doing the beer? <laughs> <laughs> people, come up to, people come up to visit from Birmingham and where we're at, and where our company's based out of. They're like, hey, we, we love your beer stuff. Down. They're like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> But I like it. But thank you. <laughs> yeah, a couple of people at work have asked me if I'm still doing them, and I all that. I go, yeah, I'm still doing them. They're just kind of here and there. And, uh, a couple of people have asked. Uh, they said, Eric, you probably shouldn't wear your insignia on. Yeah. You're from on, your, on the video, so I stopped that practice. It's always a good move. Mm-hmm. Are you drinking anything now? No, I, I'm John for tonight. I had uh, the Maximus IPA there and the Imperial Stout. But you're in the hotel now. Now you get the hotel, bring the beer up to the room. Well, That's right. You know, but it's still all down to the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, well, you got the bar, too. Well, you could have got it from the car. Yeah, you're or right. you, you could just get up right now and well, go get it. I was going to say, yeah. You, you, got, you, got a you fridge just in steps room? away. Yeah, I got a fridge in the room. Yeah, so you could have loaded it up. Yeah, you could have got some. Yeah. I mean, even if you want Miller Lite, you could have brought Miller Lite up to the room. You know, we speaking know. of that, I've seen in, in that Benny's place, they had little six-ounce little six ounce bottles of Miller Lite. I don't know if that's something new that they're trying to pull out. or That's like the old Miller High Life back in the yeah, day. The, the, I mm-hmm. to, they, were, they were glass bottles. They were six ounces. Huh. Okay. You should have definitely got those. You could have done a video with those. I know. I, I should have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joe's amazed. Joe's like, why are we talking about this? Like, no. Why, why, like, who wants another light in six house fucking bottle? And, in this yeah, segment, I'm going to step away and get another no, beer. No, Eric, you don't want Miller Life in six house bottles. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> it's 12 ounce or bust. Well, it's two, tw- two 12 ounces. There you go. They were, they were they six <laughs> ounces of the MGD and there were six ounces of uh, Miller Lite. MGD? Who <laughs> were six ounces of MGD? <laughs> oh, we got to ask Todd. This must be a millennial thing. I've never met a single person that was like, you know, it'd be cool one if MGD came with six ounce bottles. Like, that's totally what I need at all times. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know, Joel. That's all I've seen there. I'm just going yeah. to be what I've seen. Yeah, yeah, listen. I'm not trying to kill the messenger. I'm just saying I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> we have more comments. We would unfortunately. I read that. Uh, yeah, we have. Uh, Chris says left hand milk stout, non nitro is better sonicated than the actual nitro version. But we all don't have physics machines, so we cannot confirm that. But uh, I'll take his word for it. <laughs> He's becoming such a physics snob, I tell you. Yeah, well, I mean, everything to him tastes better <laughs> sonicated. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a Jamaican Republic. Can I get this all physics? Yes, <laughs> get that. Yeah, it's the worst fucking word too. Sonicated. <laughs> physics is like what kind of word? We'll just what we say. It's sonicated. It sounds really cool and professional. Supersonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm the only one that remembers JJ Fat. What's going on? Uh, no, no, I that's do. why. I, that's I, that's why I laughed. Yeah, I mean. I, <laughs> So wait a minute, what did I do into coming into this chat? I'm just a lot of nonsense. Like it's present at all times. Um, Eric Gilbert says, I want a nitro lambic, go big or go home. Sadness. <laughs> well, lambic isn't gonna carry a lot of ABV, but might make it smooth. Hashtag. Uh, Ashley says Bumpy's video was hilarious. I it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was good. Pretty sure he ate about 10 racks of ribs. Yeah, but I, was he eating ribs and wings? It looked like wings at one part to me. When he was eating was it all it ribs. Like, he was eating everything. I don't know. It was just like a plate of food. He's going going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> a little um, bit of the munchies. Oh yeah, the, a lot of the munchies. He was he was uh, he was feeling good. Uh, Mister Mrs. Slot says, "Hey, glad I caught you live." Hey, Mister Mister Slot, you guys want good to see this 
casino the other day. I saw hitting the slot machines. I never had that kind of luck on slot machines. I have any. I don't know, not not yeah. crazy luck, like decent luck, but yeah, not like winning thousands of dollars luck, maybe like winning tens of dollars luck. Like, <laughs> hey, I won twenty three dollars. <laughs> Get your money luck. back. Yeah. I'm, more, I'm more of a craps and blackjack player. Yeah, I could yeah, yeah. Slots machines are just I mean it's just all luck for the most part. Yeah. So I, mean, I don't know if people some people kind of know when machines to hit and everything. Well, they you know, they 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 kind of probably know like the, the payout or when it's due to happen. So like you yeah. know, you probably figure out some stuff. Uh, Earth says cracking a Laganita's secret agenda. Haven't had one of those. I had no uh. idea that existed. So is that a new beer? Guess it's a secret. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> Under wraps. Hashtag, hashtag dad jokes. Hashtag sad jokes. Um, <laughs> Chris said. Chris said mm. MGD splits. No, no. MGD splits. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Only head says, "Hey, everyone, having a stone enjoy by for 2019." Cheers. Cheers, uh, Foley. I just. I should get one of those for Saturday. The Saturday yeah. is 420. Just imagine you're drinking on Sunday. It's a drain pour. It's unbelievable how quick that expires. It's just like, <laughs> Saturday, everything's fine. Sunday, gross. Sunday, no. Yeah. Yeah. 24 hours is, is disgusting. Wait, we'll give it away. Like, oh, man, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I knew I should have come yesterday. People are going to walk in on like Monday or two days later and be like, I'm not going to buy that. They told me <laughs> yeah, no. 20, no. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, and then Lee says, Chris is getting out of control with this, quote, soften every beer baby palate thing. Simmer down, Chris. <laughs> totally agree. You can't, you, can't, you can't make everything super soft. Chris likes it soft. No comment. Also, <laughs> Eric Gilbert says, where is the Lions jersey? Son! Better be repping behind enemy lines, Eric. Come on, son. That's two uses of son in the same comment. You can't do that, Eric. It's against the rule. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's, sit, it's sitting back at the uh, sitting back at the house, buddy. He's in Bears country now, though. Yeah, I'm in Bears country right now. I thought you said he's in he's in embarrassed country now. <laughs> well, that's what I thought he said too. He's embarrassed well, country. What? I mean, he, is, he is a lion. So I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys. I hate you guys. <laughs> That's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> and then Earth says that the Laganita's secret agenda is a pailbock. Oh, what the nice. hell is a pailbock? Oh my! It's like an American pale weed ale, Eric. They exist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Oberon, the most overrated. A, a lager, a lager with stronger hops. I'm sending you a whole case next time, Joe. Oh, <laughs> please do not ever. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Oberon. Um, yeah, that's all we have for. Uh, <laughs> I love Oberon. I love Oberon. I mean, or you don't. You don't have to love it. There's an Oberon day because so many people love it. Oh, it's fucking worst day. What day does other half have? What, does there other half Every day? Fucking day it's other Every fucking day. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> Oberon has a specific day because they're like totally jerking this day because everyone else is, but fuck it. And when you're Larry Bell and you can just start cutting off states because you just don't like them, you got some power. Do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Virginia, Virginia's not getting Oberon this year. At least not right now. They're not. <laughs> Good. I I should be in Virginia then. <laughs> <laughs> but we know you're going to win that four hearted ale when it comes out in a couple. Yeah, months. I'll try that. Yes. The thing I like about the beers, I just you know the Oberon stuff is just crazy. I mean, like I honestly though, like I understand why people like the beer. I can't believe it's a fucking day though. Like there's an Oberon day. It's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be hating. First day of spring, the right. last of it. Yeah, people. Yeah, that's. I think that's what it is because it indicates, like you know, basically it's springtime and everyone's happy that they can go out and. You know, <laughs> you're like, this is like Eric in Michigan is snowing, but like, Oberon's out, so yeah. it's spring. Yeah, well, same here, same here. Like we broke <laughs> seventy for the first time so far this year. It was like today. It was like wait, spring was like a month ago. What the fuck? It's like I don't care if we got five inches today. It is spring because I got an Oberon in my hand. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> shorts weather. Yeah. <laughs> So you got all comments caught up? No, one last one that just showed up. It says, Earth says, Eric, see if you can find Goose Island Isle uh, hiding in a bottle shop somewhere. Is that their Scotch Ale they did? And Which Goose Island is it? 
the 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 Isla whiskey. I think it's the Isla. Oh, okay. Whiskey. I know what you're talking about. I want to say Silo Squad. Well, but before before I leave, I'm gonna go up to the Goose Island Brewing Company and see what they got up there. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do, Eric. On a scale of one to, you're gonna to totally do this, please. Uh, when you go there, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they have a lot of the different Bourbon County variants, like on tap at the brewery. So you should try definitely the ones that you couldn't get because they were too expensive or didn't uh, show up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say one more day. And <laughs> <laughs> exactly what you need to do. Exactly what you need to do. <laughs> Just make sure you don't go there and try like Honkers Ale or fucking <laughs> three one two or so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I get a flight of three one two? Your eyes. <laughs> well, you got to get the urban wheat. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the urban wheat while you're there, Joe. Oh, my God. That, I like that better than all Oberon. <laughs> <laughs> the Oberon hate is real. <laughs> drink that haterade, Joe. Drink that haterade. Hater no, haterade. Hater I don't want to drink it. Oh, you're talking about haterade. I'll drink haterade over Oberon. Yeah. <laughs> haterade over Oberon for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, Joe, I got, I got, oops, oh, sorry, Rod. Go ahead. No, you're fine. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I just cracked one that was right up Joe's alley. Actually, probably more Eric's, but it's uh, Untitled Art and Crooked Stave. Coconut Cream Pie Blonde Stout. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Eric's Why craving it right now. I Eric's have, craving it. <laughs> and it's it's like the moon pies, but coconut. Oh, it's, it's fucking great. <laughs> All right, number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Here we here we go. Where did you get that? <laughs> I got it here locally. Why didn't you get another one? Or like, like I would have there? I would have had I known it was only one can limit, but I would have went back and got another one. I would have. I'm gonna need you stop. Have, I'm gonna need you stop talking right now. This is but I picked it, I picked it up though. It's been it's been a couple two or three months ago. Yeah, it's probably a drain pour level at this point. Yeah, it's, probably yeah it's it's terrible. You wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it. Actually, I'm gonna pour it back in there and seal it up, and I'll send it to you. Yeah, I'm I'm into that. Do that. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Just fucking put it in a growler and seal it real good. And get here, it. here, just get a little waft of it. I'll just I don't have smell of vision yet. To you. <laughs> I need it, so I could be very happy. You could make air gag. That's what I do. <laughs> um, Lee says, "Isla, eh? Ex- expect smoke, peat." And salt, maybe. And then Earth says, Lee, the few people I know who've had it said it's absolutely disgusting, but worth the experience. I said, I need to try it. So Earth's trying to set up Eric? <laughs> no, no, he wants he he Eric to grab it for Earth, I'm pretty sure. Oh, for him. Okay. I thought he wanted, I thought he wanted Eric to try it. No, I mean, I'm pretty sure Earth wants to try it. He's, <laughs> you can buy two of them, one for yourself, Eric. I think he wants me to get a bottle of one to him. There yeah. you go. Uh, but yeah, we're caught on. No, hang on. Uh, Nero, coming in. Yeah, Nero Trigger says, uh, "Hey there, brother." To you, um, hey Roger. Nero, what's going on, man? Thanks for all the shout outs on your channel the other day, by the way. And then Lee says, "Unless they went weak sauce on it, it sounds right up my alley." And then Earth says, "Exactly. Obviously, <laughs> they aren't Scotch lovers." <laughs> Talking about the people who tried it and said it was gross, and yeah, I can see that. I mean, if yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge, I'm not really a big Scotch guy, but somebody like Earth and, and Lee, I would imagine it would just be right up their alley. They would be all about that if it was that yeah. intense that people are saying. Um, but yeah, we uh, we have caught up with now. Now hold on, I say that in another comment. Uh, Nero says, uh, "Yeah, I did give you more shoutouts than anyone that day." <laughs> <laughs> well, he was going through all the content and was getting excited by it, so I appreciate it. Yeah, it was awesome, and I'm going to check out some more of your game and stuff there too. Yeah, yeah. Other video stuff. So uh, it's funny. I'm watching uh, the Sixers and the Nets in the playoffs, and JJ Redick hit a crazy, crazy three, and all that popped in my head was NBA Jam. Like he's on fire. Like he is on fire <laughs> from downtown. Yeah, like, that's a uh, that's a good good game. That was like back in 1993 when they brought that game out. How, how does that go, Joe? <laughs> no. 
No. <laughs> That's how it goes. No, no replay? No replay? No. <laughs> I'm downtown. Yeah, you just gotta <laughs> scream random things in there. He's on fire. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> that was awesome, by the way. <laughs> He's on fire. Boom shakalaka. Yeah, boom shakalaka. <laughs> it's um, funny, I was on that Twitter thread and they were asking, what is your favorite video game, arcade game from the 80s? Everybody was throwing stuff. I was like, Spy Hunter. That was my game back in the 80s. Yeah, that was my Spy game. Spy Hunter was, yeah. Some people had Tempest. Some had, of course, Pac Man. Some had Space Invaders. But, like, how do y'all not like Spy Hunter? Spy Hunter was just shit. Yeah, it was. Shoes, honestly. I was a kid. I was into all of them at all times. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to say NBA Jam. And I'm like, that's why I saw NBA Jam was in the 90s. So I couldn't say NBA Jam. I used to like Rampage a lot, but I think that was also in the 90s. Yeah. The thing that made NBA Jam so freaking awesome, though, is that you would play. What it was a four player game, right? So it was you and your buddy playing someone. But as long as you were winning, whoever came on to play you, they had to pay to play. So you could play it for a while if you were winning and stuff. So that's all you had to do was win, win. (laughs) Yeah, that's all you had to do. Oh, and we, <laughs> and we used to roll with little Penny and Shaq back in the day in Orlando. Man. Oh, I was I always liked Hardaway and Mullen for Golden State. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was, good. That was a good duo too, because they both of them could shoot threes, so you could yeah. just light it up. Uh uh Ring Air Parade confirms that it is another great batch of Waldo special. This year it's eleven point seven percent of all by volume. Mm. Nice. Well, they were talking about it on their Facebook page about it coming out and all kind of stuff. So, I don't think I got it last year, so I'm definitely going to have to pick it up this year, I think. Yeah, if I see it, I'll definitely pick it up this year, probably. I like the last year's version. Yeah, I'm going to check it out this week, and I, 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 I feel like that's a big 420 beer, clearly. And, uh, like, how can you not have it on the shelves by Saturday? Like, you feel like you should everywhere. And yeah, you don't get the sweet water either, do you? No, no. Yeah. You sent me no. the, the dank, the dank tank, or whatever. The dank tank, yeah, from Sweetwater. But I forgot. I should have sent you that G thirteen. Is I? But it will be too late. <laughs> I can't get it there by Saturday. Now, what I may do Saturday, I may do a live stream Saturday with all like four twenty type beers. You know, maybe like a Hemperer, maybe like a. Are you gonna do a live stream on Sunday? I'm thinking. I mean, Saturday. Saturday yeah. Saturday. Oh, I, might, yeah, I, think I mean, if you guys are around, I'm thinking about doing a live stream, and I'm going to probably pull like four twenty beers. Or hemp beers nice. or something. Shit, I don't know if I can fucking find 420 beers on me. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. I'm just saying I'm going to probably try to get some and do like some Hemperer, the Sweetwater. I think O'Fallon's has one that's a hemp beer. I've had that before. If I can find some other stuff this week, I'll go out tomorrow. I'll grab some Oberon for you. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, that's beer mail. All you're getting is coconut beers. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> But it's weird because you can't find all the beers in all the states because of the whole laws and stuff, right? So you, if you don't have one, that's fine, too. But I'm just thinking of getting something together and do like a 420 live stream or something. I'll just drink other half because I'm the sniper, apparently. So I'll just drink all the other half I picked up. The there you go. They're, they're not tank, probably, in the least. But we'll, we'll just pretend they are. Don't know what time I'll do it Saturday. So I'll have to decide that and everything, see when you guys are freed up. And yeah. Anybody else wants to join, that will be like a hangout. So we'll have other people maybe join us for that. Yeah, pretty high probability. I I should be on Saturday. You say pretty high probability. Pretty, pretty high. See what you did there. Four twice. See what you did there. I'm gonna have some snacks with me if you know what I mean. <laughs> Although four twenty, doing it at four twenty might not be a bad idea. Ooh, there you go. A bit early, but really never a bit early to do <laughs> nah, that. And it's a Saturday, so is it really too early? No. no. Uh, <laughs> We have uh, Earth. Earth confirms that Rainier Parade's opinion of Waldo being another great batch. One thumb up. No, he said two thumbs up. He said definitely. Um, then Lee says, "1980s arcade machine, fucking gauntlet." Yes, gauntlet. Gauntlet is good. Too. Gauntlet didn't get a lot of gauntlet. That's a good one too. They didn't get a lot of there. A lot. Some people had. Uh, what's the other one with the Galaga? A lot of people had Galaga. Yeah. Yeah. What about but tag gauntlet, team wrestling? Enough. Oh, dude, wrestling. Tag uh, team wrestling uh, was mentioned. Tag, tag team, team wrestling was mentioned. That was a good one. Oh, oh and you get the guy that turns yeah. red. And... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great, that was, that was awesome. Yeah, Surprisingly, yeah, a lot of people like Tempest, too, which I liked Tempest when I was younger, too. So that was the one that got a lot of votes. 
Yeah. Dragon's Lair was another one. Dragon's yeah. Lair. Yeah, Eric Gilbert yeah. is back from his drunken stupor. I don't actually know if he's in a drunken stupor. I just would assume he is at all times. He says Pitfall. Harry and Ghouls and Goblins in the 80s. Yeah, and then well, Pitfall Ghouls was Ghouls and Goblins was, was, was Pitfall in the arcade. Or was it just Atari? I, I only played on Atari, but I'm yeah, because these are like the it's like the arcade games. I do feel Pitfall was in the arcade though. I'm almost. I don't remember being in arcade. What about Tapper? Yeah, Tapper, Tapper was in arcade. Yeah, yeah. Tapper was good times. What, what about Arch Ar Rivals? Was in the arcade. Arch Rivals. No, yeah. was it? Yeah, that was the best. Double Dribble. Oh, Double, double dribble. dribble. Double Our Dribble. Our Travels, I thought, was a Nintendo game. No, it was an arcade, too, before it, it was. was yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about Castlevania? Castlevania, yeah, yeah. That, was a, yeah. that was a good one. Uh, Eric Gilbert says Mortal Kombat and Sonic during the 90s. Well, that was the 90s. Come on, we're yeah. sticking to the 80s right now. He did 90s say the 90s. I was, he did say yeah. I, was like, I was like Moon Patrol. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah I do I remember Moon Patrol. What about Dig Dug? Dig yeah. Dug, yeah. 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 What about Frogger? Frogger. Frogger, Frogger. <laughs> I mean, Frogger took it to the Seinfeld yeah, I mean, level. You know? So, yeah, no, Seinfeld. Yeah. Uh, and Chris says Double Dragon. Double Dragon. <laughs> double dra oh, my God. Double Dragon. Double. Oh, yeah. Double Dragon. Contra? Yeah. Can it probably get Contra? Was Contra in the 80s or was that 90s? I can't remember if Contra was 80s or 90s, but uh, a lot of quarters were spent. I, I think it was 80s. That's the thing. It's like I'm pretty sure it was 80s, but I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if it was like 1990 exactly. It's like it's I, think, I think Super Contra was 90s. Super Contra was that the uh, up down up down left right left right A B no, B A Mike select Tyson start. <laughs> oh, Mike look. Tyson's punch out was good. Oh, that was okay. that was the Nintendo okay. version of Contra though. So Mike Tyson's punch out for me was probably the game for me. I punch out was probably well, track and field was huge. Track and, track track and, track and field was awesome. Track punch yeah. out was the greatest. Track and Track and Field had people bring in like utensils to play the game. Like, yes, people, I remember. People would set up pencils to get their guys to run yes. faster. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Slide them through your fingers yeah. and you just hit the one side and it would like. You're yeah. making modifications <laughs> to win a game. Yeah, yeah, when it's you have, yeah, it's over. You it's over. You the game, it's well worth it. That's, that's the way. Yeah. Like you're, you're our fucking arms all just <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> what happened? I'm out of commission next week playing some track and field earlier today. I'm on the DL. I got to yeah, take it. You get up to school bus and you're walking to 7 Eleven to see if your name is still listed as being the top. <laughs> yes. And if yes. it's not there, I got Oh, it's all. It's all. That's right. <laughs> yeah. come, Ash, come prepared. Ashley says, uh, and this doesn't count because it's the 90s, but he just mentioned he says Sega Genesis NHL PA 93 specifically. But any of the NHL, NHL 94 was the jam for me. Uh, yeah. Well, see, yeah. if you go to consoles, then you got to go to, and you're going to 80s, you got to go to Madden because Madden set it all up from Genesis. Tecmo Bowl. Okay, Tecmo Bowl. I'll give you on Nintendo. Yeah. Tecmo Super Bowl. Tecmo Super Bowl was 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 the battery house. That was the part. Wasn't that the? That was Tecmo Bowl was Bo Jackson. Where you just Tecmo Bowl was Bo Jackson. You got like Frank Minifield, Barry Sanders, Brian Seiper. Yeah, Chris and Aquid, Nigerian Nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Bo Jackson was unfair on a scale of Bo Jackson. Everybody else. Eric Metcalf. Eric Metcalf. Wasn't it Tecmo Super Bowl that had the play action, which I think was maybe the first football game that actually had a play action play in it? Isn't that sad that you no. just that? It's so well, sad in my brain. It's like it's the first game that had a play action. It's like it's so sad. It and, you, and you had like four plays to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> I heard Joe Montana was the first talking football game. Yeah, that first – yeah, yeah, talk yeah. Sport. Pat Summerall was doing the, the play yeah, by play. Yeah, yeah. Well, you were like – First time you played, you're like, oh, did you hear what he just said? <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I just remember playing the, the first um, that first NHL game from EA, and I just remember flipping out that the puck would flip over end on the screen. I'm like, the puck's flipping over end. Like, oh, <laughs> this is fantastic. Look at the physics. It's so great. Um, that is really oh, no, great. son. When you played Madden in the 80s, and you put somebody out in the early version when the ambulance came out to pick them up, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're not running over people, just <laughs> getting them out of the way. Annihilate half the field. You're like, what? You came out the field. They over. And then, when, and then, the, then, like, two guys get out the stretcher to put them on the stretcher and then put them back the in the. Yeah. yeah. And then after the first time you saw that, every game you was trying to put a player out. <laughs> every time I guess somebody hurt. Yeah. <laughs> But you're right, though. It's like running over people, just getting out of my way. You know, yeah. you're just going to hurt another 15 guys trying to get to the one. And then if you go to Commodore 64 in the 80s, oh, yeah. Dr. J. Larry Bird one-on-one. Oh, 
That shit. Ooh, Break that backboard, yeah. baby. Break that yeah. backboard. Yeah. Get a little the sweeper guy come out, clean the glass. <laughs> <laughs> 64, cussing right? you out the whole time. Wasn't he like, <laughs> wasn't he like cussing at you or something? Uh, Lisa says one was Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Ooh, Golden yeah. that was, I think that was maybe late 80s. That was I right think, there. I think Golden Axe was uh, 88 or so, school. maybe. Yeah, I think it was after when I graduated high school or so back then. Yeah. Earth then says pole posi- pole position and then he pole position. Yeah. Pole position yeah. Spy yeah. hunter. Who about spy hunter? I remember going to all the different pizzerias in New Jersey and they always had like a pole position there. Scene. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rod already said uh, spy hunter was his jam. Yeah. Oh, spy- did. okay. I didn't hear yeah. that one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, fucking yeah. Dude. <laughs> that was another four player game. That kind yeah, of that was, it, yeah. and then they ported that over to I think it was the Super Nintendo and whatnot. It was fucking yeah. so yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> Such, I used fucking waste weekends upon weekends playing that. Um, yeah, Chris then confirms track and field. He says stunt driver. Oh, I remember stunt driver. I remember that one. I don't remember stunt driver. No, I don't yeah. remember. Lee Russell says altered beast as well. Oh, I had that. Well, I remember that, but I also had that on Genesis back in the day too. Uh, Earth says bad dudes. I remember bad, bad dudes. Yeah, I remember bad dudes. I don't remember that one. No, me either. Uh, Eric Elber says Pitfall 2 was in the arcade and Harry was Atari. Yeah. And then... I, oh, go ahead. I don't know. I was, I was thinking... I remember like one was a tank game too in oh, arcade fuck. where you had to look in the scope and everything. I can't yeah. remember. But oh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember which one it was, but it was like all 3D, the tanks you were fighting and stuff. Now it pisses me off. I need to know the name of that game. Uh, Ashley says, okay, Nintendo Ice Hockey 1988. So stupid, fun. Four on four hockey. That was the best. You had the skinny guy. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, the big fat guy. <laughs> the, yeah. The brawls were one guy <laughs> out of the fucking pack and another guy in fucking <laughs> that, box. That game was awesome. I love that yeah. game. They had, that they game had, was awesome. They had, a, they had a cheat code too where you could make the never ending uh, just puck flying <laughs> out of the midair. It was, it was bad. Yeah. And then, and then Earth says Nintendo for hockey equals Blades of Steel. Blades, Blades of Steel. Oh, yeah, that was that was good. Yeah, well, I remember. Ass. Yeah, <laughs> I remember the nineties when Madden didn't own everything, right? The NFL didn't own everything, so you had the quarterback club, mm-hmm. and you had so many other football games that were out there and stuff. You had NFL, NFL two K or whatever, and stuff like that, and everything, and. Before Madden bought up all the licensing and stuff, but yeah, NFL 2K was one of the, the best games they had. It was NFL 2K5? It was absolutely amazing. I remember playing online with my friends, and they had they had a website that was like fucking the box scores looked like going to ESPN.com back, you know, whatever, almost fifteen yeah. years. It was yeah. So cool. you played online, all the stats were uploaded, and it was like holy shit. And I'm thinking back, it was fifteen years ago. I don't even think Madden has anything like that in 2019. <laughs> no, Madden sucks <laughs> now. Yeah, Madden's. Yeah. Dude, Terrible. Madden now, you got to call so many different things. Like, I got to work by my line audibles. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, but here's, here's two games. Centipede. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Centipede. And Defender. Or yeah. Missile Command. Missile Command. Yeah, yeah, Missile Command. I remember Missile Command. Holy fuck. Defender was, Defender was good, too. Defender was good. Like, Defender, like, give always... me my person. They try to take your people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or that Stargate. Which one was it? Was one there was two of them. They would take like your they, Stargate. I think came on later, but they would take your people and try to you had to save all your people, so, or else you would die. I think Missile Command did too, didn't they? Like pick up and you'd have like a guy dangling from the ship, and then you could. What that? What that? Or not missile, not missile, not missile Command, but Defender. I mean, that's Defender. Then maybe yeah. I think in Defender. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm like, why? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Because on that one, you could flip the reverse. Remember, you did the thing. They would come from behind. Oh, let me turn the ship around. You trying to go that way now? Yeah. There's so many games back in the day. I was like, <laughs> them, man, you had three cities you had to protect. Yeah. You know, and they bring the smart bombs, and the smart bomb would be dancing in your ass, like <laughs> trying to get it all the time. <laughs> I'd always, I would always shoot all the missiles, and then all of a sudden you was out, and then all of a sudden all your cities are getting blown up, and it's like, oh, yeah. put another quarter in. You use all your missiles up, but then that last one would come down, and you're like, please don't, please don't. <laughs> Every time it was going to. Um, Lee says Golden Axe and Altered Beast were both in 1989, so it just came just right, like, in. Yeah, right in. Right on. I always, I always also like Joust. Did y'all play Joust? Oh, yeah, Joust, yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Fucking Joust. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Gilbert says he has Golden Axe and his Sega, uh, Sega Retro Gaming Disc for his PS3. 
Uh, oh, yeah, because they do have those on there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chris says Star Wars cheesy Death Star run. Um, and then I remember Star Wars, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a there was a bunch. Um, Rain Iron Parade says, and this is beer related, he says, I thought that was kind of mean of Todd flashing that coconut cream pie beer in front of Joe. I think Todd <laughs> kind of want to know because he is such a nice guy. And you know what? I would co sign that. I feel that's the way you can do it. Okay, my bad. Sorry. What a dick. All right, it's, ter- it's terrible. You wouldn't like it at all. No, Never. I, would, I, it, you would totally, not like it. No, it's totally like a 4.8 out of 5, but it's probably disgusting because I don't like coconut because I'm Eric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Eric. Motherfuckers. Earth says Blitz was hot a little later on in the arcade. I do remember. I remember I John Elway. Yeah. Yeah, I was about ready to say NFL Blitz. John, there was John Elway football. John Elway's, yeah. Yeah, yeah John Elway football. I played a lot of that. I remember playing a lot of that. Ten yard fight. What about ten yard oh, fight? Ten yard fight. Something else, man. I'm like, <laughs> 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 he's a good first down. But I'm like, <laughs> first down. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? Like, video game? Why? <laughs> video game? Why we, we can't get first downs? I don't know what's happening now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and, there, and there was area, there was area fifty one too, which was kind of a double dragon kind of set. It was more yeah. alien featured. Which double dragon was a fun game. Double dragon was fun. Yep. Uh, Chris says uh, kung fu. Oh yeah, yeah. Fu. Who yeah. was the other one? Uh, Shinobi. Yeah, Shinobi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eric Gilbert says Castlevania was the shit. Sons! <laughs> Castlevania was a good time. What about Mortal yeah. Kombat? Yeah, who, who uh, mentioned that earlier? It was Eric Gilbert. He said Mortal Kombat. Finish uh, him. Yeah. I can never do the damn finishing moves. I can never figure them out. <laughs> <laughs> Kill it. Finish him. I want to rip his head through the spine. I can't figure it out. Somebody give me the code. Have we said Rad Racer? No. No, no, no. there's Rad Racer. Oh, Paperboy. Paperboy. Paper Boy. Oh. Great game. <laughs> I used to fucking just love not doing my job in that game. Well, was Paperboy was paper in the 80s or the 90s? That was God, 80s. That was 80s, but I think it got ported over to yeah. Nintendo maybe in the 90s. Yeah, I think, was, I think it was Nintendo. Yep. And then there was also Cubert. Yeah, I was going to say Cubert earlier, but like, it's, mm-hmm. it's all right. It's Bird, what about Burger Cubert's Time? Cubert's like on. Oh, Burger Time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Burger Time. <laughs> you mentioned Tapper earlier, but I remember some Tapper. That was good times, man. Very <laughs> the crazy arcades. Nobody said pinball, though. Pinball used to be a fun thing back in pinball, the day. Pinball, yeah, pinball. Yeah. Uh, Chris says his favorite, absolute favorite arcade game was Karate Chop. Or, sorry, Karate uh, Champ. 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 Karate Champ. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, there used to be some competition back in the day. I mean, I, I think of like the NBA Jam. You think about like pool halls where people have next game, they put quarters up there. I remember an NBA Jam where people were putting up quarters like for the next teams and stuff too, you know. I do like, I, I like, you know, I mean, gaming's obviously just absolutely huge nowadays, but like the social aspect of gaming back in the day, and this is going to be like, we're back in my day, but seriously, like the social aspect, having to go to an arcade or somebody's, for, for, you know, somebody's house yeah. to play, it was really promoted like, trying to be friends with people and socializing and stuff. Now you can just sit in your fucking room on your headset and just be a troll and just be an idiot online and just have no respect for people. But back then, I mean, it really, like going to the arcade was a fun time. It was fucking oh, happy. Yeah. 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 You looked forward to it after school or on the weekends or whatever. It was such a good time. Well, that's back when we had malls, like kind of in the heyday too of stuff. So, yeah. right. You know, sure. you yeah. I mean, you would go to the mall to meet girls, girls would go to meet boys and yeah. it, it was arcade, like, he had the food court and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. It was a huge yeah. social. It was like online, but in real life. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could, you it wasn't could virtual go, reality. It was reality. You could go to one place and you could go and play video games. You could go and buy clothes. You could go and get food and you can go talk to the opposite sex. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that, that was back in the, like that. That's what was 
that's what you wanted to do on a fucking Saturday afternoon. Yeah, depending on where you were, you didn't need a car like your parents. You could ride a bike. Depending yeah, on you, yeah, yeah. There, yeah. There was a mall right by my house. So it was like a five minute bike ride, and we would. I'd go there with friends. We go hit up the arcade and you know do things that you know fucking teenagers yeah. do. And you know. <laughs> which is kind of funny when you look back, like save the old movies that kind of talk about that time. You know, you look at something like Goonies, or you look at. I don't know, mall rats, whatever it may be, all these different movies from back then. You can just see the difference between now, like nowadays, like everybody's got their head down in their phones and doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Totally different. The, the worst yeah. thing is like the worst thing is uh, the one thing I know is like going to like live sporting events mm-hmm. and just seeing everybody watching the game through their phone. Like they're literally like they're, it's everything's I'm taking a picture of this, I'm looking through this. It's just like you're there watching the fucking thing. Like right. yeah. what if it's just yeah, take a picture or two, but w- constantly watching it through your phone is just like I don't understand what's happening. Like, enjoy the moment. Yeah, it's like life's passing them by, and they're not even stopping to realize it. Yep. Yeah. Exactly it. Exactly. Yeah, it's un- it's unfortunate. Like I like I said, and, and I, I'm sure the <laughs> generation before us and whatnot, but it's like I don't know if I would want to be a kid in the last eight. 10 15 years and certainly not nowadays with everything oh, it's not like now going, well, to school, everything, going to school is like even a thing no. nowadays. Yeah. yeah it's it's like it's like it was so, everything was so simplistic and just easy like not easy from that but just like everything just made more sense to me i don't know like i almost wish there wasn't cell phones and stuff i know as cool as we this is yeah talking, yeah like, yeah I, it's well, like office space we have people skills we got people skills yeah <laughs> you need me here i got people skills like yeah, as I a kid, it, you'd, you'd hop on a bike and you'd go look to see where the Palo bikes were in somebody's yeah. yard because you know that's where everybody was at. They're yeah. you know they're out there playing basketball or football or wiffle ball or. Definitely. Now you don't see anybody in the streets doing anything anymore. Well, it's like I watched the uh, their nice Sandlot was on and just watching that again. Just yeah. you know, you grab nine kids in the neighborhood. Let's go play baseball or whatever yeah. you know. Well, you just said though, Todd, it resonates with me more than anything anyone's ever said ever <laughs> on any of these chats. The whole fucking bike pile, like just, <laughs> yeah. just driving around the neighborhood and just looking for the fucking bike pile. Because back then you just you didn't have your cell phone. You couldn't. You'd have to go in and like call five different people. Just like, right, <laughs> ride around yeah. the neighborhood, and then you would see it. It was like euphoria. You're like I fucking found it. We'll do whatever. It is. Going That's on. right. Well, you, yeah, wouldn't exactly. even jump, you wouldn't even jump off the bike before the bike stopped. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> now so you just let it run. And, and, yeah, that is my yeah. Kyle, Kyle was always just like, oh, the fucking yeah. bike, but not perfect because everyone would do that. It was so good. Yeah, so good. Yeah, I remember. Uh, was it last summer? Maybe two summers ago. I was leaving my mom's house back in the neighborhood I grew up in, and got a couple blocks down, and there was some kids out in the street throwing football. You know, just yeah. playing around or whatever. And I stopped to roll my window down. I was like. Good for you guys. It's like, I, you know how long it's been since I've seen somebody? They looked at me like, who's this stranger? Stranger <laughs> danger, stranger danger. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't like it. I was like, you don't know how much that, you know, how happy that makes me to see kids out there doing that. Like, you never even see that no more, you know. But you know it's, just, it's crazy. You know what really happened? Todd was like Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. Like, let me get that football. Let me see if I still got it. Go like, deep. Todd's throwing passes deep to the guys. <laughs> those houses, I can throw it clear across all of those houses. <laughs> uh, we have a couple other comments here. We went off a little bit. Uh, Earth says, I used to have a Tron handheld. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Tron was in the arcade in the 80s, too. Ooh, that Tron, was actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just like how we when we remember when we're like, oh yeah, ooh yeah, that one, ooh yeah, that, that one too. It's like like thirty of them. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, Chris says tons of quarters were spent on Street Fighter Two. Yeah, Street, Street Fighter Two. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, Eric Gilbert says I have zero time for gaming anymore. Need to quit my job and start playing. There you go. <laughs> Priorities, Eric. There you go, man. Who cares about bills? Now it's you can get a scholarship even. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, sure. Super good at it, and you will totally get like uh, sponsors. You can go to the the league gaming and all that stuff. <clears throat> well, it's funny uh, though, because like when we used to game, you know, you gamed against people, but our social skills. Getting back to that. You also had to talk a little bit of trash when you were game back. Like now, you see these kids; they get these guys. They go these talk. They, ain't talk, they don't talk trash. You don't talk trash like in the game world. So <laughs> <laughs> they have brought the talking trash. Like we need someone to pop up that talks trash in the game world. That'd be kind of funny. Then I would watch some of the ESPN six or whatever they put in. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Rod, you, you should uh, point them to one of our uh, Madden games that you've recorded before. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, son, I, take that. <laughs> I, I watched this. It had to be at least 10 years ago. They had this Madden um, thing that they were doing. I think it was on ESPN2, and it was just like a Madden tournament. And you're right that the back then at least the trash talking was just like a dude dude scored on it, the other guy and he's just, just like they would get up and stand over him like <laughs> yeah he, just, he, up and he was just like what what, what? yeah what? Like, what? he scored a touchdown like if you have any other thing to say, it's like I don't understand it's, but you knew when you gave it up you had to sit there and take it too it was like yeah you got it yeah, yeah that's, that was the best part that, but that was the whole thing about like. When you were playing uh, your friends in games, the whole point was it was bragging rights. So you, oh, to yeah. win, you knew that you would be talking shit, and everyone expected it because that's how it went. So you had to be creative, yeah. And how you did talk shit, and and it, and it was it was a great time. That was like I, people would sit there and like try to recite stuff. And they're just preparing for their victory, and if they lost, it was the best thing ever. It's like yeah, you're yeah. gonna talk shit. Oh, wait, you lost today. I get to talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ashley says, yeah, fuck work and all of our adult abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce says Cabal was uh, good too. And then he says Gatorade in caps. I'm not sure what he's referring Just to. Just Gatorade? Gatorade. In ca- caps, spaces between every letter. I'm Is not... that Sexton? No, that's uh, Earth. The uh, planet. Is Earth dehydrated right now? <laughs> oh, maybe it's getting too deep into the Waldo specials. Who knows? <laughs> now, wasn't he talking Gatorade and uh, oh, uh, Oberon earlier or something? That was a long time ago, though. No, no, that it was, was long time ago. Like last five minutes. Or so, yeah. Any uh, any beers coming out soon that we're looking forward to? I'm trying to think of like beer releases. Oberon. And- <laughs> it's, already out, man. it's already out, man. God damn it. It's coconut over on though. Speaking oh, of beer. Okay. Although Joe will probably never <laughs> Joe will never drink this one, but Budweiser <laughs> has their beer coming out to commemorate the Apollo eleven moon landing. There's an actual beer or just like the cans are different. No, it's an actual beer. So just like they've done the other series, they uh, the Copper Reserve and whatever the other ones were, they got one now coming out that'll be a uh, the commemorate com- commemorate the Apollo Eleven moon landing, a specially brewed beer. So they're yeah. trying to they're trying to do some different things. I don't know if they're trying to say, hey, we can kind of make craft beer too or what, but they're trying to do some different things. It seems to get into that game as well. I tried the Jim Beams one, um, and I. Didn't hate it. I thought it was solid. For what I thought it was solid too. I mean, I, I listen. I'm not listen. I'll try any single brewery, honestly. Um, but just like w- when the stuff is gimmicky or whatever, like that beer specifically, the Jim Beam beer. I was like, eh, whatever. But it was way better than I thought it would be. Like I give them credit. Uh, I, I know a bunch of people that actually enjoy that. Like they thought it was good. So yeah, I mean, I'm willing to try stuff that's different. That's the whole point. Like if, if you're gonna bring something out different, I'm into it, right? Even if it is Budweiser, I, I'll give it a go. Yeah, I heard some people like, oh, they're not bourbon barrel and they're using staves. I'm like, who gives a fuck? If it tastes all right, then drink the beer. <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah. so, exactly. I commemorate them for trying to do something different. I'm like, you know, not bad. I like Beam. I like Bud sometimes. Come together. You guys did all right here. So, yeah. So, what what, what is the beer going to be for the Apollo 11? Do they, they mention just uh, I, I didn't read the name of it, though. But although, the funny thing is, and I should have pulled it up to see. Let me see if I can pull it up here. I don't know if Fox is trying to troll them on this one like fox as in like fox fox oh it was like the local fox station all the affiliate yeah let me see if I can pull it up here while you're looking for it i will say earth said to clarify on the gatorade comment it was referencing todd seeing kids outside playing football but this chat is all timing yes it is <laughs> <laughs> time, timing does matter thank you earth for calling me I, I try to read them as best as i can earth i do but not really. So is he trying to? <laughs> so is he trying to say I was like the the creepy guy in the white van or something? Or I'm not gonna all right. So let me see. <laughs> in a van down by the river. What? Uh, what? Okay. Sorry, little child. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let me let me bring it in here. Because I saw it at first, and I was like, that's actually pretty funny. But I'm like, I don't know if they meant to try to troll for this or if it was just they didn't catch it at the time. Because when you click on the link, 
it does take you to the beer. Mm -hmm. But when you pull it up online, you guys see everything there? Mm -hmm. So so here's the story. That's not Budweiser. (laughs) 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 Six-year-old Brooklyn. (laughs) (laughs) That may be one of the best unintentional trolls. And actually, it is Fox News, so if I click on it, Bait and switch. Go into the, the article. Yeah. Let me pull it up here. You pull up the article, right? And it still has the Brooklyn beers. I, now, either somebody at Fox doesn't drink beer or they don't realize <laughs> it's on there with that story. They saw a B, but it's I, Brooklyn beer. I now, was, when you scroll down, you see the oh, yeah. Budweiser here. It's ignorance. That's all it is. They probably they just probably pulled off a fucking they they, they googled beer picture or something like that, and that was the first thing that showed up. Come on, Joe. It's it's Fox News. It has to be true. <laughs> and it is the national Fox News, but you got to admit that's probably one of the best trolling things done on Budweiser, yeah. uh, intentionally or unintentionally. Oh, there's a beer. There, like, that's not their beer. That's Fox Defender Fox. IPA. <laughs> it is Fox News, so yeah, everything that Todd said is correct. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty hilarious there, but um. This one is. Let me see here when it comes out. It might be out already. Why are you so okay? You were super dark there for like your yeah. picture was like crazy. It's like you're you were in the dark. I didn't understand what was happening. <laughs> Epic space flight to moon land in 1969. Blah 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 blah. Donating every dollar for every case sold to Folds of Honor Foundation. Discovery <laughs> Reserve comes out July July 20th, 1969. No, wait a minute. What? That's the movie what? Wait, excuse me. What? No, <laughs> we're traveling back in time to get this movie. A little late. So. <laughs> it doesn't have the date on here. Again, this is Fox News, so I'm not expecting the best reporting. They probably can't even tell you what the beer is. It's just like, it's a fucking special yeah. beer from Brooklyn. I mean, yeah. one right. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't have the date on here. When it, it comes out pretty soon, I started seeing some of the commercials already, so... Earth, uh, Earth posted after that. Uh, he says he says he's retracting <laughs> all of his comments, and he totally did. Retracted <laughs> <laughs> that last two. What the fridge? <laughs> <laughs> and then Greg shows up and says, "My favorite beer is my next, especially if it's free." Good to see you guys again here. About a couple weeks since I've checked in. Nice to see you, Greg. Good to see you, brother. And then uh, Ray Night Parade says, "I seen." I seen a 22 ounce bottle or whatever in a wooden box for a high price. I don't remember, but yeah, <laughs> that shit went down okay. I had a couple bottles. <laughs> Is that why I read the comments for things like that? I feel like that. I think it, they, they need to be read exactly like that. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. That's uh, that's exactly how I picture him saying it. And then he says, "I guess barrel aging can hide the flaws." Well, technically, that Jim Beam beer was not barrel aged. Right? It was it was actually uh, no, uh, just made of staves. Yeah, so it wasn't even barrel aged. Yeah, yeah. but I liked it. I got you got you got the good flavor from it enough. So it was. You know, we're, not, we're not looking for him to solve like the cure to cancer or anything with that one. But I mean, they did okay. No, they did. They did a good job for sure. And then Boston Beer Company. They came out. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet or not. I know some people are starting to kind of check it out. The 26.2 Marathon beer. Yeah, I've yeah, seen, I've seen it. it. Yeah. They said it's developed for runners by runners. So, but it's Boston Beer this? Company. Yeah. So the runners at Boston Beer Company came up with the beer. I mean, but. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck does that even mean? Why are they, what the fuck does that even mean? The, when I go to buy a beer, I don't want a beer that says developed by runners of four runners. <laughs> I know it has coriander in it, some others. I suppose it maybe like hydrates you or something. I don't know. Yeah, so does water. Yeah. Is that uh, uh, Blue Moon? Maybe? <laughs> Is that a <laughs> <laughs> in it? I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where they're going with that one, but. Boston Beer, they're on it. Dos Equis. They unveiled a new beer that's going to be coming out in Texas and New Mexico. Maybe Drunken One will see this where he's at. Um, it'll be their Mexican Pale Ale. So Dos Equis is going to have, I guess, kind of a craft beer type label. Huh. Although technically they're not craft beer because of the whole brew association thing, if you follow that. Yo, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so... You do, do what not, you want to do. I do not follow the Brewers Association. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. You drink what you like. Exactly. Do what you want. And we don't have Bum here tonight. Too bad. 
bums out here. Giant Eagle has just launched beer delivery service in Western Pennsylvania. That's why he's not here. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> Getting it delivered and fucking having a great time. That dude has uh, a bum has so many old fucking bottles they post on tap. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> and too bad Nick's not here tonight. So Nick Maxwell star, because from what I hear, he loves the taquitos. Dude. From 7 Eleven, right? I do not bring up that memories I have with taquitos and Nick, please. This is not what I want right now. Because now, if he goes to 7 Eleven, they've actually, they're actually adding beer taps, kombucha on, kombucha on tap, which I've still never had a kombucha, and tacos. So if they get a track and field in there, oh my god, it's on. It's on. 7 Eleven. Do they still have 7 Elevens, though? Yeah, ear muffs, yeah. Nick. You can't. Don't want to listen to this. Yeah, I was. So the whole thing with Nick going back, it was the first Albino Rhino Beer Festival, and the night before we were doing the bottle share. We all went to Seven Eleven because it was down the street from um, Chad's house, the Albino Rhino, and we went. We went down there, and we were whatever, going to get some snacks and whatever, like a drink, right? And fucking Nick's sitting there, and he's looking at the taquitos. He's like, oh, I don't have a Seven Eleven back in uh, New Brunswick, blah, blah, blah. And she's looking at him like, don't fucking eat the taquitos. It's not a great idea. It's 7 Eleven. It's fucking like 11 at night. Those taquitos, there's, you're going to get food poisoning. It's bad. <laughs> but, but I don't have them back home. If I just keep it that way, it's cool. Everything's going to be cool. <laughs> he ends up getting like three taquitos, right? By himself. Just gets three taquitos. Next morning, guess what? He didn't feel good. He did not have to go. <laughs> he the for like an hour, made them late to get to the fest to set up. And like later on, I was like, they're, they're like, oh man, he, was, he had a rough morning. And I'm just like, those fucking taquitos, Nick. I told you Try to stuff. tell you. Should I tell you, don't go to fucking 7 Eleven at 11 p.m. and get taquitos. Yeah, those things have been on there by, for 12 hours by that point. Yeah, I was like, there's fucking yeah. all kinds of things that are going to go into your body that you don't want. Yep. <laughs> but what's worse at midnight, taquitos or White Castles? Ooh. Oh, taquitos by far. Eat all the White Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> at least, at least I, I'd imagine that the White Castles just aren't sitting there. Just no, no. They're made to order. Yeah, they're made to order. <laughs> yeah, they're fresh. <laughs> I mean, they'll, come, they'll, go, they'll go right through you, but taquitos are going to stay and fucking wreak havoc on your entire body. <laughs> by the way, speaking of White Castles, if you can get there and get their bologna, egg, and cheese sandwich, it's awesome. Yo, that sounds like my childhood summed up. <laughs> it's <laughs> awesome. So you say I should pick up some breakfast from White Castle? You weekend? should, yes, and get the baloney. And get the baloney. <laughs> I'm going to say Todd sent me. Todd said y'all make a mean baloney <laughs> egg and cheese sandwich. <laughs> Do you guys know Todd? Do you guys know Todd? Yeah, he says baloney. It's spot on. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> it's true in a lot of ways. Um, Ashley says he actually saw that book. <laughs> uh, so they're finally getting, because I know Eric Gilbert mentioned it, but they're finally getting the uh, the Jim Beam, uh, the, the, the Copper Reserve in Canada, in Ontario, finally. So, oh, that's where we sent the stuff that nobody drank. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Yes. They, moved on, they moved on to the next series here, so they sent the rest to Canada. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then they're like, set, bottled in June. Oh, wait, that was 2017. <laughs> oh, they, they, made they made it fresh for the Canadians, don't you guys? <laughs> um, Earth says it's craft beer prices here. He'll pass on it. And he was talking to Ashley, and he's specifically talking about the Jim Beam. Uh, when you mean craft beer prices, Earth, are you talking like ten bucks a six pack or something? I think they're. I think it was like six ninety nine here for a six pack of the Jim Beam. Maybe seven ninety nine. Eight ninety nine here. Oh, I think it was six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. New York it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. Uh, Eric Gilbert confirms that the bud is actually these fucking uh, Todd muting that like the millennial is it's unbelievable. Says, uh, kombucha is taking over some fridge space here. Not sure what's going on. He's not happy. About it. Yeah. <laughs> kombucha is making a move on stuff. And I like, I've, I haven't even tried it yet. I may have to try it at some point. Yeah. Same like. here. Same here. I feel like I, I, I want to, but like I don't, but I kind of do, but not really. Um, and then uh, Ashley says he saw an ad for hard kombucha uh, this week. Hard kombucha. It's wow. Like, Wait, isn't it all alcoholic? I thought no, or? there's not alcoholic kombucha. We oh, have here like a, a Kroger. Kroger, we sell kombucha, but it's just regular. Okay, the ones so. that I've always seen have been alcoholic. I, I, I they're always. Oh, I had no alcohol. idea. Wow. Okay. I, 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 I fucking crazy. Uh, Eric Gilbert's. I need to, I need to brush up on my kombucha history and and what's going on here. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> says he needs a he says need a 7-Eleven and a Taco Bell run right now. Would love to be up all night on the pot. Yeah, you could just probably live on the toilet for like the next four hours. Be dead. Speaking uh, of Taco Bell, do you guys have any Taco Bells near you now that have the alcohol? No. The cantinas? You don't have okay. I don't nope. we just have one downtown Cincinnati. We don't have I haven't seen anywhere else yet right here, but I, I had stress had a Taco Bell that was like five minutes walking distance from me, but it closed down because yeah. a lot of people don't go to Taco Bell right here. We have a local chain called Mighty Taco that most people go to, and uh, Taco Bell just doesn't do it. There's only like two Taco Bells within like 40 minutes of my house. It's crazy. I've never not, heard of a Taco Bell closing before. Yeah, no, it's it's weird because it's like where I live in North Tonawanda, there's, you know, there's a, like a section of where the fast food is and there's McDonald's and Burger King and Little Caesars and fucking whatever, right? Dunkin' Donuts, everything. But Taco Bell was there and no longer there. It was, it was the only place that closed down out of all of them. So it was weird. I don't know. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys legalize marijuana there? No, not yet. Oh. Well, I, we're, at some point, they were pushing to have it done this year. It's yeah. kind of stalling. They're hoping by the end of the year. But here's the thing. Here in Western New York, they're losing a lot of people going up over the fucking border to Southern Ontario and probably spending hundreds of dollars on weekends just to get fucking high. So I feel like at yeah. some point, yes, you're going to lose so much fucking to, and to neighboring states like Massachusetts and everything. And everything right. We got so I was like, they at some point they have to. Soon. Yeah. See, once they legalize it, Taco Bell will be back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. be like three of them every that, corner. That fast food fucking look. There'd be twenty new fast food joints, <laughs> and they're only open from like ten p.m. to six a.m. It's all rich. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, Earth says sounds like the bubblies to me. Dem stomach stomach rumblings. <laughs> Taco Bell, maybe. Uh, Eric Gilbert says that Bud comes in four se- uh, four seventy three milliliter cans in Ontario. The uh, the Bud the Bud Copper uh, Reserve. I did I'm not need, see. I'm gonna need you to convert that because uh, I, I four seventy three is. I'm pretty sure it's like it's exactly sixteen ounces. I'm pretty sure because five hundred mils uh, is sixteen point nine. So it's it's a sixteen. It's a pint pint can. A pint. Okay. Yeah. We talk uh, American. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, you, come on, Gilbert. That's it. Everyone else fucking use the right system, but we're gonna do what we want to do. Okay, we're, we're America. Yeah, we'll fuck the metrics and stuff. America. Everybody uses it. We just we won't because we're Americans. I'm pretty good with the conversion now of the milliliters and stuff, but like for a second, I'm like, fuck, what is 472? I'm like, oh, okay, hang on, 500 equals 16.9. I get it. So basically, for future reference. I think it's like just over 29 milliliters equals one ounce. So you times that by 10. So a 290 milliliter can be 10 ounces. But yeah, it's pretty pretty simple to figure out for the so most part. What about the six ounce millers that Eric saw? <laughs> yeah, 174s. I got it. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. Oh. Well, it's weird because it's it's weird because there's so many different. So you have the 473s. Well, so a lot of places will do the bottles that are 500 milliliters, 16.9 ounces. Then Eric says 473s, which are 16 ounce cans. Then you'll have the normal 12 ounce cans are 355s. But then there's 341s, which are 11 point, I believe, two ounces or something yeah. like that. That a lot of the the, the uh, you know European um, countries use, and it's just like there's so many fucking different can sizes. It's like nobody goes with just one race. Like there's like four or five. Of them. I don't understand. Yeah. Kind of and by the way, after my worldwide stout loss. Oh yeah, let's talk about it. We didn't. Talk I'm, about off, I'm, yeah. off, I'm off for cans. I'm just all for cans now. I'm just. Yeah. So how did that go down? How did that go down? Let's give us blow by blow. <laughs> So I was restacking the cooler, courtesy of New Air for sending me that one. I was restacking it to put new bottles and stuff in. Took other bottles out. Had to move the racks around. Move the rack around. Oh, I move this down. I get a higher rack up here. Started shuffling some stuff around. Took the beers out. Put them to the side so I can do that. Had it all set. Started putting the beers back in. Picked up a beer. The vibration or whatever hit the other beer. The one beer in the back was the World Washed Out. And over the side it went off the table that it was on. And of course, when you have something like that goes, it's all in slow motion. But no! you're, but you're, you're like, and, and it's like, all these other beers I got up here, I had like a um, uh, Imperial Gonzo that was there. I had like some other ones. I even had like some 22 ounces of like freaking Brewery Tarot of stuff. I'm like, really? But you're going to be the one to fall off the table. Really? And then it sat there 
and you're looking at it because you know it's just like you're you're stunned, you're shocked, and you're seeing all the glass down there, and you're just seeing the beer just starts to just taper away as it's flowing out of the broken bottle, and then of course then the aromas kick in and you're smelling all the sweetness coming. You're like, oh, that, that would have been a good beer to actually enjoy. So you're taking a couple minutes. You're saying your thoughts. Me, I was saying curse words, but I was taking it all in as best I could. <laughs> then I went ahead and got to get the broom, the mop, all that stuff to clean it up. And straw. Like someone posted on a Facebook page. I forgot it might have been it might have been Gilbert that posted like playing taps, or it might have been I think it was Westcott. Westcott posted on there about playing taps. I mean, that's what's playing in your head. You're like cue the taps music because it's it's over. It's done. I mean, it's just like it's like nothing else you can do. Like you lost a family member. When yeah, you he's like, oh. <laughs> but, so you could have got a straw and clean some of it up, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> just don't even worry about the shards of glass. Just go ahead. No, not the shards. That's a straw. <laughs> well, no, it's gonna be stuck oh. up with a straw. Oh, well, true, good. true with the shards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thinking. See, I'd just be like straight for the straw. Who cares? Yeah. Like, yeah. Shut up and stop because you'll be yeah. okay. Why am I pissing blood? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, some internal bleeding. Never hurt anybody. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I, I feel like there's one person or persons to blame in this situation, and clearly, without a shadow of a doubt, it's the new air people. Because if they would have, if they would have produced a better fridge with more options, where you didn't have to reorder the fridge, that would have happened. Yeah. So I feel you should contact them for a refund. Um, get the fact that they sent you a free beer fridge. Just tell them they, they owe you about 10 bucks. And uh, if they tell that real quick, you're even. Well, well, considering the first beer fridge was on them, I know. Kind of like, yeah. although now some of the beer reviewers, I've seen them send some of the other fridges out over the last few months or maybe about like six months ago, are bigger fridges. Oh, and I'm like, oh, I was in too soon. Uh, I see some of uh, guys getting some bigger ones. I think Darwin might have got a bigger one or something. I don't know. I'm just like, is, you know, is, yeah. not that size always matters, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, what are you going to do? I was like, of all the beers that could actually fall at that moment. That is not the one I would have wanted to do it. Was it, a, uh, was it an aged one or was it a relatively new yeah, one? Yeah, it was an aged one. It was, uh, well, I got it last year when it came out, so it was still in there. I mean, it was kind of like, really? Could have knocked over any of these other ones and I'd have been okay. You know, you know the best part about this, other Rod, is that uh, you have a lot of other beer. I do have a lot of other beer. I do have a lot of other beer, but and you it was it was it was like when Jay dropped his Burby County Stout. You're like, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> it's like oh, I, was, I don't know. I, really that <laughs> I mean, he moved a lot quicker than I did when he realized. But I was just like, uh, I'm in. I just can't. I just can't believe that just happened to me. You're like, mm-hmm. yeah, did that just happen? What the yeah. what? Uh, so yeah, but me having off tomorrow, it's been a terrible week for sure. So terrible, started out, started terrible. Out paying, started out paying taxes, ended up losing a bottle of worldwide stout. That's a sh- <laughs> that's a shitty weekend all around already. <laughs> uh, Eric Gilbert says, "Come to the metric side, sons." <laughs> I says, "I couldn't do metric for driving, driving three hundred k, son." <laughs> <laughs> only if only head says he's now having peach love and happiness from Sweetwater Brewery. Cheers. Oh, I haven't seen that one for Sweetwater. I haven't either. How is it, Foamy? How is it? Is it tasting quite delicious? I'm gonna get it a beer in a second now. Eric Gilbert says most people drive well above the speed limit around here. You'll fit right in Earth at doing those speeds. And Earth says, Count me in then. <laughs> yeah, police will <laughs> usually give you your first five to ten, but after that, yeah. you know. Did you? Uh, what did you have for dinner tonight, Eric, in, Ch- in Chicago? I yeah. had. Oh shit! What did I have? <laughs> <laughs> you were like all so confident. I fucking you didn't, had. What did you I didn't have? go to Applebee's for like the fourth time, well, we did you? Place called uh, the Patio, and I had uh, barbecue ribs and barbecue chicken. Nice. You you went to the the what was the um uh, the pizza place you went to the Chicago style place? What was oh. it? You went to Giordano's. Yeah, Giordano's. Yeah, the, the Giordano's. Yeah, Giordano's isn't bad, but that's like the tourist place. Yeah, that's yeah. what. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, but it's only a block away from the hotel. Oh, that makes it convenient. convenient. And yo, know, it's the best tourist place at that point. It's like walking. <laughs> sign me up. It's like when I go back home in the Northeast and people go to Philly and they're like, "Oh, we got a cheesesteak. Where'd you go? We owned her to pass." Yeah, mm-hmm. fuck it, dumb. That's right? a tourist place. Yeah, we went to Gina. Mm, that's a tourist place too. It was like, you need to go to Neil's on South Street. What is Neil's? Yeah, see, you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, John's. John's pork roast too. People go nuts about too, right? That's yeah, because 
it, it, yeah, it's kind of like, you know, people go to these other places that are kind of known for being like the big tourist type thing, but it's kind of like, you guys go local where they go to get their yep. stuff. They really well, find out the good stuff. Same thing here with Wings. People come to two places are Anchor Bar and uh, Duff's, and they don't make, like, you know, the Pads and Genos are probably, it's not bad, but it's like. No, it's, no, it's still good. Like, Giordano's yeah, is still good. It's, yeah, just, it's just. It's not the level where. You're not what you want. Yeah. You know, when you're going to come here, you want your mind blown and going to those places, like. Yeah, they're solid, but like I thought this was gonna be an experience of some kind. And it's just like the experience is yeah. like, oh, good food, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's just, places have stuff like that. I, I would I would love to go to just like New York City and just go to fucking like every pizza place <laughs> and every corner. <laughs> it's like, well, well it's like we went to Chicago a couple years ago. Um and I, that's when I found out like Miller's pub because I went there, but there was another restaurant I went to called X Checker. And X Checkers is something a lot of people really know about. I guess if you're from outside that area, they were voted best pizza in Chicago by the residents of Chicago. Oh, yeah. But people outside the area would think you're not. I mean, this, and the food was actually pretty damn good. It was it was pretty sweet. So, how about how about uh, some Detroit style pizza there, Eric? What's the jam for Detroit style? I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> My, I've, only, I've only started really hearing about Detroit style. In like the what's last a Detroit year. style pizza? It's it's like kind of in between a Chicago and so a Little Caesars. Okay, you know how Little Caesars has their pan. It's like yeah. that, but actually good. Is is that what it but is like? Would it be like, <laughs> like, it be like Sicilian pizza? It's kind of like that, but it, but they actually do it in a pan. It's like I mean, it's hardcore hardcore pawn jump out of it or something. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you see less pop out of the pan. No. You could probably pay extra for that. Um, no, but it's like it's like a pan pizza, but like it's it's just unique to Detroit. And like Little Caesars, their pan pizza, I guess they do is like a representative of what Detroit is. But like a you know they're not a great one because it's Little Caesars, it's a chain. But apparently they, there's some really good places. And I was like, when I went to Detroit multiple times, I had no idea there was fucking Detroit style pizza. I don't want to like a half dozen places. Now I'm disappointed. I'd like to try it. God damn it. That's almost like the uh, urban artifact I sent you guys. I had no idea we had a Midwest tart. <laughs> uh, the Midwest strawberry tart or whatever. The urban, urban artifact? artifact? Yeah, fucking yeah. reading. I'm like, what is that? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I had no idea. Yeah, a Midwest fruit tart. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> what makes it exactly a Midwest? As the muddy to- water look. <laughs> yeah. It literally looked like that was like the only, that was like the worst thing about. I mean, it was a good beer. I think you it guys all like enjoyed sure. it, but yeah, the, it was appearance, good. the appearance would. If I was someone new to craft beer, that oh, appearance would almost be off putting for me at first. It looked like drinking like, water or some shit. Like, I'm not, yeah. yeah, I'm not drinking that shit water. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, it's funny because yeah. like on my camera, hey, it, on my yeah. camera, it didn't look great. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'd rather. Yeah. <laughs> unfiltered <laughs> MGD. <laughs> Michelob Ultra, aka Water. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, oh. Joe, I threw you off there. <laughs> no, I, no, I was, I was, no, it's actually good that you did. It's funny because I was just gonna go off on fucking it like gross, water, just like sewer water. It was just, I, I poured it on my like looking back at the video, I was like, that doesn't even do it justice in real life. Because I was pouring, I was like, oh, that's a cool color, and then I filled the glass. I was like, wait, actually, let me take that back. No, it's not. not. Color. It fucking looks disgusting. See, the Ohio River isn't that bad. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe the Midwest part of it is that they are actually using sewer water, and they're not, yeah. they're not filtering it. They're just that's what they're brewing it with. <laughs> I've got a minerality to it. Um, uh, Eric Gilbert says Italian beef sons. Yeah, that's a that's a oh yeah up in Chicago Italian. Ask, beef. ask Gilbert how he liked his Michelob Ultra. Oh yeah, he he was on the show last night with Nick Show, <laughs> and he posted on fucking Facebook. He's like, "This is disgusting." <laughs> Earth, Earth says he just got his Omaha steaks delivered. <laughs> oh, Omaha steaks! Omaha steaks. Yes. We have a, we have an Omaha steer, uh, story about like uh, ten minutes from me here. You know. Wow. Yeah, yeah. There's one like a half an hour forty. Never actually had their steaks though. I mean, just you know. I I got a. Uh, was it a gift card to them like three or four years ago and went there and picked out like the steaks or whatever. And it ended up being pretty good. Like, I mean, it was, it's better than probably like, you know, going to just a regular place, but I yeah. usually go to a local, um, local butcher over here and get stuff. So. Yeah. We've, uh, we sent it out to like family before for Christmas gifts and stuff like for food and stuff, but we just never got it ourselves. I don't know. I don't know. It's like you got to buy like you're going to Walmart and buying like for a family of you ten do. or something. Yeah, because that's how you get deals. It's <laughs> yeah. like, all right, if you buy four filet mignons, you'll get this. If you buy forty, I'm like, who the fuck is eating forty filet mignons? Like, I mean, I'd like to, but it's going to take me about six years. 
Um, yeah. Eric says Buffalo Wild Wing Suns hot garbage. Yeah, I can't. I just, you know, there was a thing where uh, Drunken One went there on his video, and why? I mean, it's just like they, they're not really good wings anymore. At one point, they were like the the place to go because they were like the wing chain, right? But now it's like so many other places that do better wings than they do. I think I feel like they're. I don't know where they're getting their birds from. Their birds don't have enough meat, like the, <laughs> the birds yeah. that people are having. Like, exactly. like you're getting you're getting cracked birds or something. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> your birds get the grain fed ones. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but your birds are not have, good. They don't have yeah. the steroid birds. That's what's going on. They don't have yeah. the poster wings that are fucking like three sizes. <laughs> the, the the rest of them. Um, the worst part is living in Buffalo, and then for fucking Christmas. I actually got a fucking gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> and I looked at my cousin and I, he's like, he's like, I'm, I'm just like, what, 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 what the fuck? I'm like, what are we doing here? Is this serious? Is this he's a like, joke? Oh, don't you go watch like the MMA fight or whatever? And I'm like, not at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't you used it. It's been five months. I haven't used it. I'm like, I, I hate Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> well, you can use it. Just go to the bar and use it for your beer tab. That's right. I just fucking go there and get everything but the wings. I'll take a burger, yeah. please. Yeah, like, yeah. At least go to Hooters and have their wings. They're at least somewhat decent. We have no Hooters around here anymore. I'm oh, not God. a big Hooters wing fan either. I just like I'm not know. either. Yeah, yeah. I just think their food isn't that great. I mean, I agree, God. Rod. You don't go to Hooters for the food, I don't think. I don't no. think Some of the Hooters aren't Hooters anymore either. So. <laughs> <laughs> Like you do got that going for you, and your food's not great. Why am I here? I don't know. Foamy <laughs> Head says the, uh, the the peach beer from um, Sweetwater. It's a Berliner Weiss in their mixed twelve pack cans. It's good and peachy. Okay, I'll check that out. Maybe do a review of that one. Yeah. Nice. And then he says the four twenty G thirteen is also in that twelve pack. Oh, the four twenty G thirteen is pretty damn decent. I do like that one. That's probably my second favorite beer with Sweetwater now, behind the hop uh, hop hash. You like all the weed beers. All the weed beers. That's pretty much it. They if it, if it works out, out that way, maybe. <laughs> if it works out that way. <laughs> Eric Bieber says doo doo water, in, in I guess reference to what we were talking about with the fucking urban artifact beer. And then he says, Eric, very boiled rice. Was that Michelob Belcher? Very boiled rice. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and raining down your grade with one of the weirdest fucking pairings I've ever seen in my life. Uh, he says, I'm eating some organic blackberries with this Waldo special. A great pairing. <laughs> I don't, Speaking. Yo, I don't know about 12% of double, <laughs> triple IPA special ales, whatever you want to call it, and organic blackberries, but apparently he's onto something. Speaking of the rice thing, funniest thing I saw was they did an interview. They just had a big craft beer convention. Um, or beer convention a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was last week. And one of the people had on their upload, they interviewed the person that runs like Miller. And so they asked them about, you know, they called them, they were like kind of in a, I don't know, like a bar casino where they asked them, like, you know, what do you think about the whole Budweiser, you know, corn syrup type ad or whatever? And he was just like, oh, I don't really care about the corn syrup or whatever. He's like, but tell Budweiser to make beer right. Tell them to stop using rice. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. Tell them to make it the right way or something. <laughs> That's I, uh, old, the old guy complaining. That's all. That's why. It's, it's yeah. What we got to do is old people complain. Did you Did you see the ad that uh, Miller made in response to the? The, oh, the with the ones with the, the guys when they take a break at the movie set? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I watch it. I'm like, that's pretty clever. That's clever. Yeah. Hmm. You got more comments? Uh, let's see. Uh, Eric Gilbert says he gets his wings uh, off the crooked uncle. I don't know if that's a place or if you actually. <laughs> yeah, <well, that's> a- <laughs> <laughs> they're much, much better than any Buffalo Wings. Uh, Buffalo Maybe wings. a food truck? I don't know. What's going that's on? Like something <laughs> happening. That's a food truck more- on the crooked uncle. <laughs> sounds a bit more popular. Is it in a white van? That's all we need to know. Down by the river. Down by the river. <laughs> Hopefully, not in a trench coat. I think I think I'm pick up this uh, six point just did a jammer session pack. I don't know if you guys saw that. You know their jammer, their goza. Oh, I have. haven't seen that. Yeah, they have a five pack. They so they have jammer. They have a lemon lime citrus jammer. They have mango and pineapple tropical jammer. 
grapefruit and tangerine ruby jammer, and then um, cranberry, raspberry, and strawberry berry jammer. It's a mixed 15 pack. I, I think I'm going to grab that. That's not like. Insert nucleus joke, jam on it, jam on it, jam, jam, jam on it. <laughs> I'm going to review all of them during a live show and just have that on repeat. There you go. A wiki, 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 wiki. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think I am. I'm going to, I think I'm going to drink all of them on a live show. I think it'd be fun. They're all like all, all 4%. Yeah, they're lower. They're lower ABV yeah. probably. There I think now. I'll do a live show a couple weeks on the Monday and just fucking drink all of them, review all of them in one single show for like two hours. Should be fun. There you and, go. Yeah, yeah, that's, that should be a good time. I fucking, I'm sure, I'm sure they're pretty enjoyable. Perfect for the spring summertime, I'd imagine. Yeah, I the one of the best Rattlers I ever had was from them. It was called Rad. This was like four years ago. It was fucking like a mimosa, but it was so delicious. Uh, but they were using so much fruit in it that they were exploding on shelves, like they were refermenting. And they tell oh, wow. again. Yeah, yeah. They, they, it was like basically they, they they had five different fruit juices in it because it was like a straight up rattler. It was like four percent. There was like orange juice, pineapple juice, a couple other things. And I just remember coming in the next week after I bought a four pack, and I was like, "What happened to all the fucking rad? You sell out of it?" And they're like, "Yeah, we sold out most of it, but a lot of it was just exploding everywhere, so we had to uh, take it off the shelves." I was like, "Oh fuck, what?" <laughs> Uh, Earth says jammer is good. Is it going into distro? Yeah, from what I'm seeing, it should. Sh I know it showed up at one place here today, so I'm gonna try to grab it tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's 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 a mixed 15 pack. You get three of each of the five, and I think it's gonna get distribution pretty much everywhere they distribute. So um, nice. Yeah, I, I think I will do it. That sounds fun. I think I'll do a live show with that. That if anybody has gets those, let me know. Let me fucking get yeah, I could probably, look, could probably look to see if I get those. Drinking all uh, five of them during one show might be interesting, but they are four percent. Will be all right. I, yeah. I'm, I'm more concerned about the actual liquid I'm drinking, like fucking sixty ounces, as opposed to the alcohol content. Come on, son. I did a. How big was that bottle of uh, Anchor? I did right. Yeah, well, you're a fucking beast, and I'm not. <laughs> There's a difference. Lightweight. I am a super lightweight, and uh, this, this is not ideal. I fucking. I'll review two on Mondays, and by the second one, I'm fucking slurring my words. At three times. <laughs> I did that big one. I was like MC Hammer. Let's get it started. Started. Yeah. <laughs> Too legit. Yeah, you, you're uh, like, put my DJing equipment. It's go time. <laughs> Too legit to quit. <laughs> Earth says it's hopefully fifteen dollars a pack. I'd imagine it's going to be twenty-ish. I mean, if you're, it's yeah, yo, we're we're apparently starting to get that now, Todd. We're going to start getting fucking top of Goliath. I need to go get a beer, so you guys hold it down here. All right, uh, top of Goliath. Uh, Kyle, no hype beer reviews. He they fucking King Sue just showed up by him. nice, and I'm like. He's like, they apparently distribute in New York. I'm like, not here yet. I'm like, well, I'm looking for it. <laughs> to try it. But that's awesome. It's not Mr. Beat for sure. Uh, a lot we, of people, just, we, just, we just started getting them about six weeks ago, I guess it was. One of the best IPAs I've had literally in the last five years was their double dry hopped um, pseudo Sue with Citra. Uh, my buddy got it from the brewery. Fucking absolutely just amazing. It was so good. So, like, I'm showing up here. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I want it all. I want it yeah, all. they're starting to hit distro big time now, it seems mm -hmm. like. Awesome. Uh, did you ever find any of that Bambarana or, or Eric from uh, Oscar Blues in uh, Cigar City? I haven't looked. Oh, you guys. I haven't seen it. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a shame. I've got a, a against the grain Bow and Luke stout with uh, with that in it. With the Bambarana or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. What's the wood in there? Yeah, yeah. The Amber. Yeah, Amber yeah. Yep. Amber on it, yeah. It's pretty tasty. What's it I'm, called I, again, Joe? Bambarana. B a b a m b a m b u r a n a. It's from Oz. It's a collaboration between Oscar Blues and Cigar Cities. Uh, Cigar City. It got limited distribution like over the past month, month and a half. Like guys like Earth, still on their shelves, showed up in this area, fucking gone. I know some people in Michigan did not see it, which is why I asked because uh, Jeff, no jinx, um, he. Uh, he wanted it, and uh, one of our other buddies, Sadiq, who uh, comments a lot of the <laughs> videos, he uh, sent him a can of it. But, like, uh, yeah, it, it came and went, and I'm, I regret not picking up at least a four-pack, if not a couple four-packs, because that's honestly the best beer I've had this year, hands down. Probably the best barrel-aged stout I've had in, like, the last year. And it's a fucking shelf beer for four bucks a can, and it's 12%. It's double barrel-aged, and it's fucking dynamite. 
So hmm. I, I'm just, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, Assuming it's made with amber on or wood or whatever, right? Yep. It is. Yeah. It's, so it, it's actually, it's double barrel aged. I think it's rye whiskey and brandy. And then they mm. do the, uh, the Amberana wood spirals. And I believe they also have figs in there. And uh, yeah, it's just, I, don't I haven't seen it. I'm hoping to maybe buck into a can sooner or later, maybe. Yeah, if you do see it, you can get more than one. I highly recommend buying like at least a four pack of it because I, based on your palates and I know how you guys, you fucking will love that beer. Everybody that I've seen drank it has loved it. Like, no, oh, it's okay. No, like fucking automatic 4.5 out of five or better. Like, that's everyone loves it. Because it's amazing. And it's fucking like not, it's a special beer, but it's not like, you know, super. And in Earth's area, it just sits, huh? Earth's is like, oh, I can get some on the fucking, you know, I can get the fucking, you know, whatever. It's on my shelf. I'm like, <laughs> what now? But then there's the same guy that gets like Firestone Walk, Ravelin, Sakaba on his shelf and shelf turds. And it's amazing. So I don't know. Earth, Earth is, is in a place where there's all the beer in Southern California. That's uh, true. Right? Ray Aaron Parade says he got one. He's got one can of the Bambarana still in the fridge. It went quick. Yeah, I mean that's, that's awesome. Uh, Earth also says not ju- uh, not sure if it's just me, but every time I've had a core beer from Top and Goliath, it sucked. Oh, oh really? Earth. I was Ooh. underwhelmed with uh, one can I had of the Pseudo Sue, but then I had another one and it was really good. So I don't know if they were having and this. That was a couple of years ago. I don't know if they were having troubles early on or whatnot uh, when they when they started canning and started getting bigger distro. But I don't know. Well, I remember about five years ago, four years ago, used to work with a girl that were, lived in Iowa and brought some, went back home to visit and then brought some back, and it was fantastic. And this one here that I'm having to, you know, tonight of the four pack is reminds me exactly the same. So it's, to me, it's not been any off fall from that with, with the uh, distro. Hmm. Yeah, so it, it, NBA, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh, you, don't remember, you don't remember that commercial? No, I totally remember it. <laughs> I totally remember. I don't want to remember, but I remember it. It was uh, one of their more popular ad campaigns, I would say. It, was, it went for a while. It's at you the did. brewery. Autumn Maple. Oh, Autumn Maple. Uh, that's a really good beer. I like that. This could be a good Let, move or a bad move. We'll see what happens. Let's right. guess on what Rod paid for that. I'm guessing two ninety nine for the bottle. Negative six ninety nine. Negative six ninety nine. Prices right? <laughs> yes, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I said two ninety nine. All right, I'm going to say five ninety nine. I'm going to say paid full price. Well, Anybody that? in comments want to throw a price Ooh, out there? Yeah, Earth, there you Earth go. There you Earth go. Calls, calls the Bambarana shelf turd sons. So what? All the maple, the brewery. What do you think I paid for this bottle? So we got. How, what did you say, uh, Todd? Two nine nine. I said five nine nine. You said full price, Eric. What does that indicate? Like, what is what does that mean? Exactly. Probably eleven, twelve dollars. Yeah, you got to you, you put you got to put an actual number. Yeah, you Eric, can't play prices right this way, Eric. Come on. Yeah. Bob Bob Price is wrong, bitch. Now you put specifics on it. Now you put specifics on it. Yeah. I'm going to say what? Price is wrong, bitch. $9.99? Eleven. Eleven. Eleven nine nine. And then and then Earth said five dollars and one cent to be <laughs> originally four ninety nine, but you five oh one. We'll let the five oh one stick. <laughs> there you go. Love it. Anybody else want to guess out there? Anybody? 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 Counting down from ten. Bueller. Seven, Bueller. One. No, okay, no, no one else is posted. Earth did four ninety nine. They did five hundred one. Yeah, yeah, I love him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's got. You got to bump it up just, a, just a hair. Oh wow! It. Oh wow! Well, it. if it was the Price Is Right, and I had money in my pocket, and we were on the Price Is Right, Joe would win a hundred dollars. It was five ninety nine. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> nice. Do I nice. win open that cream pie blonde cell? You get to spin. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Bob Barkey's to give him a hundred dollars or something when they got yeah, it? Right no, I mean, if you want to, if you want to PayPal me, I'll give you my PayPal. And well, there you go. <laughs> Strictly Venmo. Strictly Venmo. <laughs> Eric Gilbert said eight bucks. He was a little bit. Uh, he said yeah. eight, eight bucks, just like the sour I Yeah, I think this one was five ninety nine that I got. So yeah, I know prices nice. except for that total luck. Yes, it was good. I believe it could be less than that, but I remember five ninety nine was one of them at least. 
Oh, there, so, are, there, are, there are some of these that they do have for two ninety nine. It was the same place I took you, Todd, when you got your beer deal. Yeah. Oh, All right, always, well. He always tries to deflect the great deals. Oh, Tommy, you were there. You were You're right. Were you remember, there. right? You remember yeah. that. I remember when you saw him on the show. He had the same deal, too. <laughs> Todd got a great deal when he was here. Hey, here I, tell you, I took Todd to all these places. <laughs> he took all the same things if he had a truckload to bring back. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, Todd could have bought more. He, you know, he was conservative. He was. He has all that four fifty north to buy. Just give him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that was last year though. Oh, that's true. That's true. So PBR release. We didn't talk about this last week, did we? The PBR beers, or did we talk about it? Well, what, what specifically? The well, PBR light or something? PBR is apparently trying to play both sides. So they released a non-alcoholic beer, but then mm. they released an extra alcoholic beer. Extra <laughs> alcohol. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're trying to play both sides of the lane, I guess. What is PBR? I mean, is anybody really going there seeking PBR? I haven't met anybody who said, ooh, I'm waiting for a new PBR release. <laughs> Just hadn't had it happen. Um, actually, I wonder if Earth knows about this, but Constellation closes two ballast point facilities and scraps their future builds. So they I heard close, about that. They close two I, of the points. That, yeah. Although they say they want to get more involved in the beer, get more beer than wine sales this year, but I'm like, you're closing places off, so... I'm gonna go to know. the constellation offices and demand answers. There's only like it's right by other half, by the way. So one day I'll just stop <laughs> and be like, "Excuse me, what's happening?" Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, why are you closing stuff off? Yeah, what are you doing? And then in, like uh, other half. In honor of 420, hmm. plus 420 is Saturday. <laughs> 420. Uh, there's an Austin beer infused with CBD oil that's being released. It is the Dank Sinatra, a hazy IPA. From North by Northwest. I've already seen. So, you should have Drunken One here. So, Drunken One, because he's in Texas. He'd probably must, be able to see that. He's right outside Austin. It must be a popular name because there was a local brewery here that did Dank Sinatra about six months ago. Uh, there'll be a first lawsuit over it. This place That's is a good call. Yeah. Yeah. That is a good name, though. <laughs> yes, it is. And then just to prove the point that most beer drinkers don't know what the hell they're talking about sometimes when they kind of rate beers and all that kind of stuff, a Missouri beer fest ended with Natter Days. I repeat, Natter Days from Natural Light, named as the best new beer at the festival. <laughs> what, Natter? Oh. Natter Days. Yo, I saw it. Eric's that. like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> they found out it was Natter Days because they didn't know what it was. They were like, oh, that's no good. But like, you all voted on it. You don't know what the hell you're talking about you when know, it comes I, to beer. I considered buying those. That's the strawberry lemonade one, right? I'm going to do a review on yeah. it. I haven't picked it up yet. All right. Do a review on your channel. I'll grab okay. one. We'll do it. Trio review. Get Eric. Quintuple review. Get Todd. Uh, I'm game. I'm game. Yeah, we should do a huge fucking review on it because I'm sure yeah. it's pretty, I'll bet. I bet you it's good. Come on, I it's bet. got Pat, Pat McAfee, a fellow WVU yeah, alum, Pat, is their spokesperson. Yeah, Pat McAfee is fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> he is funny. He I is bet, funny as fuck. I bet you he drinks like a fucking like a cooler or something. You know what yeah. I mean? Or like, why, but I, I, it's, I bet you it's good. It's kind of like the 450 North Slushies. Do they are they beer? No, but they're fucking delicious. So like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Although we probably need to do a malt liquor show with Joe actually here this time. Oh, for fuck's sake, no. I <laughs> He's said not going to show up. I said if we do it, I'm, it's for local for everyone, and we're not doing it. That's I thought that was the rules. <laughs> for Todd to finish a four loco. I'll finish one. I don't want to. But Easy. I, I, don't yeah, I don't know Todd could finish one. Well, did we say they have to finish him? Well, I mean, if you're going to open it, you will want to finish What's... it, right? Or... <laughs> no, 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 it's a poor no, logo. No. You don't want to. Trust me, you don't want to. I am going to, I'm just going to get a bucket of ice and make sure the can's cold at all times. Can't let that warm up at all. <laughs> a stomach wouldn't allow me to finish that for one. Oh, man. I, I was joking. The one time, like, it was like a month ago or maybe like six weeks ago, and I was like, yeah, let's all get four local. And then I sent you guys pictures from when I was at the place. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, what the fuck am I doing? There's no way I want to buy that ever. Uh, I'm totally into it. I can do it. Why not? Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, for me, it's closer to Austin than D1 is. What do you say? He said D uh, Drunken was north of Houston, but he's closer. So, Foamy Head, if you check out that beer, let us know what you think of it. The what did I say it was? A Dank Sinatra from North by Northwest. Dank Sinatra. Uh, Ray Priest says, it's not that Rod is cool. 
it's that's it sounds like a, that sounds like an insult. Uh, he says it's it's just it's just a comment, right? Yeah, it's just Ohio has some great stores. Wish I was born in Ohio, but I was born in Michigan, close. So fuck off. <laughs> I feel like that Waldo's is uh, combining with the organic blackberries and uh, sending him on his way to uh, just fucking tear and rot a barbecue. Well, see, one, I am cool. And two, it's not just Ohio. I could deal with Kentucky too, son. <laughs> Ohio true. and Kentucky. And I'll throw Indiana in there as well yeah. if I need to. <laughs> if I need to. I'll, I'll fucking drive there. I'll do it. It needs to be done. I'll Don't do dare it. me. Don't dare me. I will. Unbelievable. I'll go try state. <laughs> I'll go try state, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> and we're almost a week away from Avengers. Are you guys going to see it next weekend? No. No. <laughs> Listen, are you going this weekend, Todd? Nope. Okay. No, I never I never go open a weekend because that's like the worst time for like you got all kinds of people in there. One you got the crazy fan fanatics, right? Yep. Then you got a lot of the kids and you got a lot of, it's just like too much commotion going on. Everybody's sitting next to each other. It's like sold out. Like, nah, spread out, son. Can't be yeah, right yeah. here. I'm not gonna yeah, watch the hundreds in general. Yeah. I'm, not, it's kind I'm not huge into Marvel stuff, although you know, I it's it's good, but I just not to that level. Somebody cut Joe's mic. No, I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for it. Nah. I, I agree, Joe. I am not into that either. Well, I mean, I I don't find it like bad. I right? like it, they're good. Like I've watched yeah. quite a few of them, but like I I don't you know go to like the releases. Or, like I might go to it in the next couple months. Yeah. yeah. The next movie I'm looking forward to, honestly, is Godzilla: King of the Monsters. I'm, I'm, I like Godzilla. Love Godzilla. I've loved it since I was a kid. So the, yeah. the, the new one coming out has Ghidorah, King Ghidorah, and fucking. Rodan. But is he King of the Monsters yet? Because I don't know. That's why he's a great movie. Or could be. He hasn't fought King Kong yet. I'm and that's for the King next, Kong. And that's because, and, yeah. that's right. And that's the next one that comes out in 2020 is Godzilla versus uh, King Kong. So I feel like I feel like. Pretty, go ahead. I was gonna say, I feel like the new ones ought to pay a little homage to the old ones and have their mouths talk where they're not really in sync. <laughs> that, would, that, would be, that would be great. That would be yeah. great. Yeah, technology's come a long way. Todd. I'm not sure you're aware. <laughs> no, I'm just yeah. saying, like, go old school. You know, just be like, hey, I'm gonna throw this out there and make the track off from what it really is. Just yep. you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's some smoke, baby. There's smoke coming out there. Ooh. Oh boy! The one bad. thing with the uh, the new King Kong movie, it was pretty good, I thought, for what they did. But it was kind of weird because like Samuel Jackson couldn't drop the f bombs in there. I mean, it wasn't like our <laughs> movie. It was like you know he was getting pissed off, but he had no script where he could actually drop <laughs> yeah, them in. Yeah, there were so many say, times yeah. he could drop him like or you know? or something. Just doesn't have the same thing. <laughs> It's probably easy to just say fuck it. I'm just gonna say fuck just because. I know uh, you wanted to say it about King Kong so many times. Eric Gilbert says the brewery is a total shelf turd since it starts showing up on Ontario. So they're getting, yeah. they're getting it. And then uh, exploring yeah. ginger shows up and says hi, Rob. Hi, everyone. Hey, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm not actually over impressed with um, the brewery. The brewery for the beers I've had, they're decent. Yeah. I get a good deal on them. I can enjoy them, but overall, none of them have really knocked me back. Though, like, oh, this is really as good as I heard it was. The only one that really blew me away was Black Tuesday, uh, which was like their eighteen percent crazy imperial stout aged bourbon barrels, and this was like five years ago. <laughs> Outside of that, though, yeah, like some of their stuff's good. I have uh, one of their one of their uh, barrel aged wheat wines in my uh, cellar that's from two thousand thirteen that I want to get into at some point. But like a lot of their regular stuff for the sours and whatnot, they're all right. They're yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. Like you ain't yeah. doing nothing really new, but you're all right. Yeah, all right. yeah they're not bringing. But that's a that's the thing is like so many breweries nowadays are doing are doing so many different things and crazy shit that it's like it's really hard to set you know set yourself as a you know apart from the pack and like make you know some kind of meaningful impact with your beers nowadays. It just seems yeah. like so many good breweries. It's I, I did a duo review of two beers that uh, Jeff you No know, Jinx sent to me that was. Uh, a uh, beer called uh, Cinnamon on French Toast. The name of the, the beer used to be called Your Mom on French Toast from Pigeon Hill in the woods. And then the other one was called used to be called Your Grandma on French Toast, which is a barely version. Well, at the Detroit Fall Beer Festival in 2015, I had the, the the base beer. And I remember blowing my mind. I got like cinnamon toast crunch cereal notes. It was like just you know amazing. Fast forward three and a half years, 
I've had so many crazy beers that are better than it or whatever. And like drinking it again, I was like, man, this is good. But how many beers have I had since then that are just like, just are better than it or whatever. It's like, so, so crazy to see how far beer has come in such a short period of time. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It's pretty I don't awesome. know what they're doing to these beers that you can't even detect the alcohol in. Oh no, it's scary. It's scary. Yeah. They're masking them very well. Yes. But it's funny. You said no jinx. Every time I hear no jinx, I think of no whammy. <laughs> okay. no, no, whammy. <laughs> no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Yeah, <clears throat> smoking beer. Yeah, I won't be doing a review on this one. This is my last one, so. But I'll pick up another one, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you should. Th- I gave I gave it a three and a half out of five. That's what I gave it for. There you go, done. So, done. <laughs> what do you want to know about? It tastes like pumpkin. It's got yeah. spices. Baby, that's that's got- I got a little head, but then the head disappears. So no more head left, son. Maybe you want a little bit of butternut squash, baby. A little butternut squash. <laughs> Do a review in Dusty Rose voice all the way through. Just a review oh, of Dusty Rose. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard times doing Dusty Rose for the time. What are you doing? Look at Dusty Rose and. Macho Man Randy Savage sit down to do a review. <laughs> and it's like, if, if I can get those little cartoon characters and kind of just write the stuff for it, it'd be pretty cool. And it's like, oh, yeah, baby, this is a hot one, baby. <laughs> Dig it! You know? <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious, but... Oh, man. I love, yeah, my, rest- I love my wrestlers. They just bring all kinds of entertainment. Yeah, the old they- school ones, the new school ones, there's, there's not much with them. Every time I look on WWE, it's kind of like, eh. You guys if don't we- have it like they had it before. They have a um, documentary in, on uh, Vice, Viceland, um, mm-hmm. that just came out this past week. I think you can get it on their website or whatever, streaming, different things they're on, but they're also you know, on cable. And they did a uh, the like backstory on Macho Man and Miss Elizabeth, like mm-hmm. from when they first started until they both passed away. And they just did uh, the Montreal Screwjob with Bret Hart and Vince McMahon. Oh, okay. And then this upcoming week, they already have it on their YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, you go to Viceland. Uh, it's on uh, Bruiser Brody uh, when he okay. got killed in P- Puerto Rico uh, by a wrestler oh, down there, like oh, stabbed oh, in the yeah. locker room and how it was all covered up and stuff. It's like really interesting to see like some of the, the back stuff on the wrestling. Like it's crazy, man. It really is. Like some of the stories behind the scenes are better than what they produce in the ring, like story story wise. But yeah. uh, it's a it's a really good series. I think they only did five. They're doing five episodes for the first season, and if it you know gets good feedback, I think they're going to go into more. So. Yeah, Vice does some pretty good stuff on their channel. Yeah, the, the average wrestler's age they say they usually live to is like forty five or forty seven now. That's I think crazy. yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, that John Oliver from HBO just you know uh, was like about three weeks ago or whatever before WrestleMania came out with that whole thing about like they should have a union, the healthcare and everything. And there was some big yeah. flashback on the WWE because it's like they they consider them independent contractors, and it's like. That wrestlers are independent contractors, like back from you know back in the day, like they would go to different territories and they would you know get paid and they were into, they would do their job that night, whatever it was right. wrestling for that territory. Go so yeah, they how are you going to give them you know healthcare? They're not part of a union, but WWE, you sign contracts for you know right. three years, five years. You should have health insurance. You should have at least like a four hundred one k or a pension or something. Like there should be something where. And, every, and the wrestlers came out like, oh, if I get injured in the ring, of course, the WWE takes it. It's like, well, what if you get injured outside of the ring? That's what insurance is for. Like that, you know, what if you get yeah. sick? Like, are they get? let's say if you randomly do get or something. you get an auto accident, accident or something. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. That, do they pay for all that? I would be hard pressed to say that they probably do. It's like, you know, but now, and people are like, oh, they make a lot of money. Not all the wrestlers are making, you know, uh, 500K or a or, or million dollars. A lot of them are making 50 grand, 80 grand, which yeah. is good money still, you know, 100 grand or whatever. But like, well, when you're, it's good, you're but you're tearing up your body, though. Yeah, and you're also traveling, and a lot of it you have to pay for your own travel. So now take yeah. that hundred grand. Yeah, a regular person making hundred grand, sure, that's good, right? But taking into account everything else, not so good. So it, you know, it, it was it really opened the eyes to a lot of people. But then WWE's like, oh, you know, he, he doesn't he's not presenting facts and this and that. He's like, you just don't want to hear. It, okay, <laughs> clearly yeah. you don't want to have to pay for health insurance and four hundred one ks and pensions and all this stuff because that's more money out of your pocket. Yeah, that was one of the good things about the, uh, good night, the Eric. movie. Eric Gilbert. Oh, okay, good night, Gilbert. The night that uh, the movie that Mickey Rourke did, the wrestler, because it's not far off of some of the stuff they have to go through on the roads and everything. And it's kind of like the music industry. You know, when I was DJing and we were doing something already, we find out a lot about the music industry. And you wonder, like, why are these people, like, going out of 60, 70 year old, still putting on concerts and all that kind of stuff? You know, people think, oh, they just want to keep performing. Like, they have to perform to actually get their money. 
they don't get paid a lot as much as you would think off the records when they get released and how well they do. They make a lot of their money off the proceeds of concerts and being out there off of that type of stuff. So that's why you'll see like a Ray Charles out there, 75 years old age, or why the Rolling Stones, maybe you're still doing a lot of their tours. They're making good money off the records, but it's not great money for what they actually should be getting paid. Yep. So it's just interesting. And wrestling is the kind of same kind of thing. Yeah, you look at a lot of the famous people, even like, I mean, you look at like actors. I mean, even if you're do anything to actors, you're writing the, uh, the, the screen guild, you, you get, you're, you're unionized. And if you, yeah. You have any little part. It's like you have something like that where they're a part of the union. How how can like wrestlers who are, you know, putting their life or their, their body through fucking basically torture 250 oh, hell in a year? Yeah. 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 You get the people like, oh, it's fake. Yeah, look, it's not fake. It's choreographed. Yeah, right. they don't really punch each other in the face, but those the, constantly hitting the mat, which is not soft, fucking 15 times a night for fucking 250 nights a year times 20 yeah. years. Yeah, you're going to have all these guys come out with like, Messed up spines and necks, and all. How many people, how many wrestlers have broken their neck? Right. A lot of them. Broke, like, and they're all they 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 had to retire because they risk being paralyzed. It's like, yeah, it's yeah, it's crazy. So it's amazing that like there's not more people wanting the WWE to do that. And of course, WWE doesn't want to do that because that's more money out of their pocket. But they just signed a five year deal with Fox for SmackDown for a billion dollars, and a five year deal with USA for a billion dollars. Oh, this is man raking it in. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 But, you know, it, it's like anything else. It's like you go to the NFL. You get someone like Jerry Jones who's worth, you know, whatever, $3, 4000000000 billion. And then you have guys on the roster that, you know, are making whatever the minimum wage for a player. And if I can, you know, their lifespan in the NFL is what, like three years or something? It's like yeah. it's, 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 it's on career. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be like like Chris Rock said. I don't want to be Shaq getting a check. I don't have any guy writing the check to yeah. Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> that's and, a wealthy guy. <laughs> and I think there's seen a lot of players, like uh, someone like LeBron, talk, that's exactly – he has a, a shop on HBO, and I watched a couple, uh, all three episodes they, they've done, and that's basically yeah. what he said. He's like, I don't, I don't want to be running the team. I want to own the team. I don't want to be the GM. I don't want to be the coach. I want to be the dude that's in charge. I want to own my own franchise when I'm done. And he's yeah. like, if more players tried to do that when they retired, like a Michael Jordan, um, you know, the, that being might be in a better place. But yeah, there was a there was a really good documentary done about um, the Wu Tang Clan and like RZA who put them all together. And basically how he brought all of them together. They all didn't know each other. You always think like they knew each other or you're part of that, but he brought them all in different traits and set them up differently mm -hmm. on how they did contracts, but they also controlled their own distributor. And so when they first came out, they used to basically sell their music out of the trunks of cars rather than go with the record company to control all their distribution, all their points, all that kind of stuff. And it's really interesting just how they, because the music industry wasn't used to something like that for them coming out of the hip hop world like that. They, how they basically designed everything and kept everything their own. Later on, you had Ice Cube actually do it with his stuff as well. When yep. he broke away and went to priority and stuff and then started his own. But it's just interesting. That all sounded like P. Diddy and all these other guys, Jay-Z and things like that. And it's kind of like you have to know how the game is being played so you can take it over to get it to, you know, to work for your benefit. And it's amazing that wrestlers haven't done that. You know, you look at the, the power of, say, like The Rock or the power of – uh, Triple H or when Stone Cold was at the time when he was, I mean, he had all this power. They were like the stars of the show yeah. and they never really used that power to benefit them as much. The story that always floats around is back in the eighties. It's Jesse, the body of Ventura wanted to do. He got all the guys together, like 80% of the locker room in WWE and they were going to unionize and they wanted to get Hulk Hogan on board, knowing that if Hulk was in there, the biggest star, they right. would agree. He, Vince McMahon would have no other choice. Well, he got him. And he ratted out Jesse and the rest of the wrestlers to Vince saying, these guys are trying to unionize and I'm not going to go with them. And uh, then he kind of black got blackballed for That's a while. That's when Jesse went down, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and was, I mean, that could have been a, a huge turning point. And uh, Hulk Hogan basically fucked that. Yeah. It's amazing. And like, somebody to play, like, you look at baseball, if it wasn't for, like, Kurt Flood, who was the one that basically got free agency started, and he ended up getting blacklisted pretty much for when he did that. But he set up for all these baseball players to get free agency. Yeah. And he still isn't yeah. even known as much through baseball as he should be. Yeah. It's like sense. all you guys getting this guaranteed this check and be able to move the teams you want to go to, y'all should be sending Frank uh, Kerr Flood a thank you card every year. <laughs> every year. Every year. Every single year. <laughs> With a little something, something, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> what? Uh, what, 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 what,
talking about. Money. Yeah. Just because it's Fear 420 doesn't mean that. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. yeah it's being Firefly. He's insane. Yeah. He's saying moolah. Moolah. Cashola. Cash money, y'all. Whew. Randy Moss. <laughs> <laughs> Straight cash, homie. <laughs> That, that quote's going to be attributed to him for like forever. You just, know? It was the best. It was like super cold out. He's getting back. This guy's like, how are you going to pay for that? He's like, straight yeah. cash, homie. It just gets in the car. I'm like, Dad, I would like to be able to say that to somebody right there. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the check was, like he's paying straight cash, homie. Straight cash, homie. It was funny watching the NBA playoffs. Right now, Golden State's like beating up on the Clippers. But you have James Harden, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, Serge Ibaka, all on the same team, and you couldn't win a title. Yeah, that's that's some that's a bad coaching. That's just like I got nothing. That's just bad coaching. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got there. But speaking of all I got, I got all the beer stuff out. You guys got anything else here? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm getting close to uh, getting a good nap, like a good night's sleep. And what what is that all about? Yeah, you're off tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Sleep in for like ten hours, bro. Eric, so, Eric, Eric's, Eric's got to work tomorrow. You got to work tomorrow, or he's got to get up and drive. Well, back? he's got to drive back, so kind of, but not. Well, really I, well, I got to get up, beat the plant for a little bit, and then I'm uh, okay. So he's got to. Uh, he's got to do a little bit of something. A little bit, yeah. You know, he's got to do something. His, his fucking car is going to be driving like this, so it's going to be doing. Like <laughs> <laughs> Eric, will be like, you meet me at the hotel. We got a buffet over here. Come on over, we'll get breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> So with that, I'll turn it over to Eric because I thought we'd have to stutter through it, but now we have Eric in the house. I want to see you guys stutter through it. The OG. <laughs> if you guys had too much to drink, please get a designated driver like I did tonight. I went and got a lift because if you don't, you're going to get pulled over by the cops. You're going to make you do the stupid ass sobriety test, free ride to jail, court cross, prison time. Guys, just don't do it, all right? Just do not do it. I'll just leave it short and sweet this time because I'm tired. That was pretty short and sweet. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. They're not gonna threaten to come there, break their kneecap or like that. I mean, just gonna direct yeah. to the point. Yeah, because you don't want to hurt your family and yourself. So no. Nope. But uh, thanks for everybody that tuned in tonight. Um, Eric, anything you want to talk about upcoming on your channel this weekend? Uh, I probably really don't have a whole lot coming up on the channel. I'm gonna start doing the tiger stuff, you guys. I don't know if anybody watches that, but I got Tiger stuff. Going to have some Lions stuff getting ready for the draft coming up. Uh, the last game probably is going to be the Pistons against the Milwaukee Bucks. Probably going to do that. Uh, and always beer reviews on Wednesday and Saturday night. So tune in, guys. All right. And then Joe disappeared. What do you got to your show? Uh, channel, Joe, come on. This upcoming week is Barrel Age Michigan Week. So all the beers I'm reviewing this week are barrel aged or oak aged, something every single day. Um, most of them are from Odd Side Ales, uh, Griffin Claw, and I'm doing the Banana Coconut uh, Dragon's Milk Reserve on Monday live, along with uh, Bell's 30th Anniversary Cherry Reserve Stout. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's it. Upcoming. Nice, nice. And then I've got some reviews upcoming here. I forgot which ones I have out there, but they're already <laughs> up there. So whatever ones I got, Friday, Saturday. But I'm going to be adding more stuff up there, so... I got to get some Dad, stuff Dad, out Dad, of my system. Dad, what do you got Todd, going on on your channel? Ha ha. <laughs> Todd, is the, Todd is the 450 North sniper. Uh, he's gonna be, <laughs> his start his channel is going to be nothing but 450 North reviews every single day. It's going to be great. Todd will be going down to Tennessee. You going to get some moonshine down there, Todd? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, go. Going to Tennessee. He's going to Tennessee to visit some fam. Him and Shannon. Yeah. Oh, Leaving in the morning. Nice. Yeah, are you staying with the family? You guys go to a hotel or no? We family? stay. We, we no. We stay with them. Okay. Uh, stay yeah. at their house. Yeah. I heard really good things about Southern Grist. If you want to. Yes. Yes. I'm, I, <laughs> last I last two times that. I've gone down there, I've tried to get them and and not had any luck. Todd, I can attest to that. They're good. Good. Southern Grist is uh, solid. I heard. I heard the, solid. Close, the closest thing I've had is uh, a collaboration with uh, Untitled Art. Yeah. That's that's was good. And it was good. But it's not the same. I know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I need, you need to, to put a, you need to, I need to find a good bottle shop down there with Southern Grist and some bearded iris. Yeah, you do. <laughs> put on your Indiana Jones hat and go on a search, son. 
I'd be like, <laughs> if you just want to bring some I'm extra friends pork. with Rod J, and they'll be like, oh, here's all the Southern grist you want. I feel like if you we'll just even give it twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if that plan backfires somehow, what I would do is just bring all your extra four fifty north, walk into Southern grist, and be like, oh, I just this four fifty north stuff just magically appeared. Do you have any Southern grist? To try? <laughs> yeah. What? Are you sure? Yeah, make, yeah. Where you're make the magic happen. <laughs> That's right. Got to make, <laughs> got to make it happen. Got to make it happen. And thanks to all the people that commented tonight. A lot of good stuff there. So we had Beer Man earlier, who's I don't know. He's probably off work now. He's out of Washington. But then uh, make sure you check out everybody in the chat if you haven't checked out already. Um, Sexton Bruin. Make sure you check out Ashley and all the good stuff he's doing on his channel. And who else do we have here? PA Brew News. Got to check out Paul, his beer, his painting, his uh, Paulness. Yeah, Chris <laughs> on, on the test. <laughs> Make sure you check him out. He's the physics master. You know, he likes his physics. He likes it smooth. Um, mm-hmm. Who else do we have out here that has a channel? Lee Russell. Make sure you check out Lee. Show. What does Lee do, Joe? Usually now, like the movie stuff. I must be destroyed on sight. P- movie podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so make sure Lee used to do a lot of beer reviews. Lee does the movie podcast. But he's going to do some whiskey stuff too now? Or uh, He does spirit reviews, whiskey, yeah. scotch. Uh, well, scotch, whiskey mostly. Uh, but he'll do different spirits and whatnot. Yeah. And if you like casinos, check out Mr. and Mrs. Slots. They're always winning the casino and stuff. Who there. doesn't like casinos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> check out Neuro Trigger. He does some different things on his channel. So uh, much love and respect to him. He gave me some shout outs on his the other day and uh, got a lot of good things happening. And then I'm just scrolling through everybody else that was here. Make sure I don't miss anybody. We also had. Uh, well, it wasn't Jamie. It was Jamie here earlier. Basically, no, he was. I did not see him. On I didn't see Jamie. Oh, Shout Jamie. out to Earth. He is the planet. If yeah, Earth. Check out his stuff. Just go outside. Just step on your floor. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Be good to the Earth. You know. <laughs> when you pour out a little bit of liquor or any of your beer, Earth is a happy man. Just let's say that. And <laughs> there was somebody else. I think that came in late. Uh, Exploring Ginger. She has a channel as well, so you can check out. Exploring Ginger as well. And then Saturday, probably going to do a 420. We don't know what time. It, I know you're thinking like 420 would be a perfect time. That's what maybe, I said earlier. Maybe, 4, maybe 420 yeah. Pacific time at 720. <laughs> that could actually work. That could work. So 420, 420 somewhere, right? 420. Will, that, will that be a drink, drink, pass episode? or? <laughs> I mean, if that is a possibility. <laughs> so we may do that, and we probably will do a 420 thing, so look out for that. I'll post that on the channel, and then uh, I'm going to try to get, like, basically 420 type beers, like all hemp 420 type beers, and then um going to upload some other stuff, but the regular reviews, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, some beer reviews there at 9 o'clock, so you can check those out as well. That all being said, I think that pretty much covers everything that I got right now. Thanks for everybody that definitely uh, tuned in. Look forward to catching you guys next week. We do this every Thursday at 9.15. Remember, if you like what you saw, hit that like button. And of course, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe. And if you're still here, God bless you. So <laughs> <laughs> we definitely appreciate it. And mm-hmm. we will catch you guys next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Happy Easter weekend, everybody. Cheers. Yay.